Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're here doing another basically bullshit show, episode 9. Well, or, you always have to pause there. I, mean, I like the pause! It's a what they no. call pregnant pause. No, it's just you love, See, that means he wants kids. And he recorded it on audio. Three this, is, <laughs> this is as close to the splash zone as I am getting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you know what? Yeah. Ad admittedly, I do need like a subway speed guard. I'm, I'm sorry, but you are brave to sit in front of him while he's talking. No, I just hit him. <laughs> I'm at that point. I am seriously at that point. So we finally got things to talk about. Stuff related to games. Podcast over half life. Border Borderlands 2 came out. Well, that was a great podcast, guys. Uh, where to where to start? Um, oh. Borderlands GGS, 2. Borderlands, Borderlands uh, probably Borderlands. Be the best yeah, So to start. Borderlands 2 came out, as it's been mentioned a few times on this show now. Spoilers. Borderlands 2 is out. <laughs> Spoilers. It's Borderlands 1.5. Yeah. Come on, let's be fair. Uh, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but um, I, I think my opinion is much more critical than yours, guys, is, generally speaking. I don't... Uh, yeah, I agree there, but I, I do agree with what you said. I mean, it... it doesn't feel unique enough to be its own game. Uh, you see, I, I'm kind of in the opposite there. I mean, I get that it doesn't feel unique as in the actual gameplay, you yeah. know, shooting and all that. I mean, that all feels the same. But as far as being unique, I think with all the new enemy types, I, um, I the do story like all the behind own... it. Um, I think the story is oh. weak as far as I'm concerned. The main story or the, the everything overall? The main story. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not fond of the. I see where it's going already. Yeah. It's, I, I, I know it's predictable. It's predictable. But, I mean, as far as the story goes, I mean, at least it gives I think, it. I think it, you it like the, it what you're trying to say is you like the writing. You like the writing. Well, no, I, I like and the writing delivery. too. And the del the delivery is what really helps sell it. No, well, I mean that's besides the point in like the comedy. Yeah. I mean that was great in the first one too. This, I mean, it's just very more out the there. First one, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, this has more, but I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying that the fact that they gave it a story this time, because the first time it was very, very vague. At least this time is somewhat focused. I really... Yeah. I mean, it might be predictable, if, but... I, I think if they could have done this game, if they could have done this game without it being a direct sequel, like, if they could but, have written okay. the other story, <laughs> they would have done it anyways. I, I think yeah. this but, is the best way to do it. It's not Portal 2, but it's not bad. Yeah, that, that's one way to put it. I, I think if they could have gotten away with making up a different story, they might have gone with it. But because they had to tie it back to one, you know, they had to kind of complete the story. I I really hate the Cortana chick. Oh, um, I don't I don't like the way she looks in this one. I don't like that she comes in and bothers me while I'm trying to fucking shoot or loot, and she freezes the entire game on the console versions. Yeah. I, I don't know about the PC version, but I'm assuming it's probably the same. I don't think so. I think, yeah, yeah I've heard I, it's I, I don't like smoother. that it's so much clean of her face. I mean, I, I liked it better when it was just really the eyes. Well, you know, the the idea is supposed to be that she's revealing herself to you now. Yeah, so. I, I know that, but then I again, mean, she, it's also she so can keep funny. herself to herself as far as I'm concerned. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, no, I also no. don't like that cars still drive like utter shit. I, Although I, 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 I there, I'll agree. But then again, I actually think they drive worse in this one. Yeah, I, 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 do, I, I think they I, drive I, worse. They not, flip not, a lot not, easier. Not the bandit truck though. The bandit truck, I think, is the easiest and best to drive of all of them. But the original cars, those. I don't drive know worse. why they even put them in there because it's like, how often is anyone going to use them after? Well, they some might people have, prefer them. That and they I might have. So. They might have it planned out for. Well, the DLC. But then again, look, remember... Because this time they're going in, into it in different but, order. Uh, but also remember that there are, was it one or two missions that you need that one to boost across the bridge? Yeah, the very, few, very few. I, I know it's very few, but I mean, in order to keep that mission they put could, it they in They could have cut that out and, and got rid of it. No, oh, no, they yeah. could have, but... I, I bet you, I bet you anything, it's, it's there to set up some sort of... Um, but you, you what, pathway for the you know what? DLC. But then again, they unless they really put the mission where you have to find all the parts in that for, for the bandit truck yeah. first, unless you had to do that a lot sooner, um, you needed it in yeah. there. Uh, the, the, and, and also, I just thought of something. We're, we're mentioning all this, and we haven't said that it's spoiling anything. We're no, not, we're, we're not spoiling, spoiling anything. anything. We haven't talked about the story. We haven't said specifics. I think that's. The thing. I, I will say that, um, and I guess uh, you you can't really say this is a spoiler because you 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 get the um, the instant travel network a lot sooner in this game, and the cars a lot sooner in this game than you did in the first. And that's the thing; 
the, the first one was very much designed where you needed the cars because you would be traveling, you know, across huge, vast di- distances, and it was like giant deserts. There's, yeah, there's a lot less empty space. Yeah, there's, there's less empty space, and there's more enemies Vertical. taking that up. It's more of a vertical nature. Yeah, and there's more enemies taking things up, so that kind of makes it feel like it's not impossible to go on foot. You actually would even consider going on foot to some of these places. Yeah, it's too much of a, too much of a hassle yeah. to spawn the car. Get in, spawn the car. Get Timmy, everyone. stop getting the back. You Timmy, get you in the don't back. want to hate that they did well, this So what? I wanted to take my own truck so I could... Two, two, <laughs> two things I hate about the way they implemented it, though. Um, number one, in the first game... If you wanted to spawn two cars, everyone could be in the car system at the same time. Yeah, this one you actually have to wait. This one you have to wait. I hate that. And number two, the saving system when you get to checkpoints, it saves if you're in a multiplayer game, it saves in, in sequence where you save, then I save, then Timmy saves. And until all three of us are done saving, it will not let you pass through the gate. Where the first one, it would save for everyone and then immediately let you pass. That takes up a lot of time. I think the reload, uh, when you die, respawning takes too long yeah, as well. Yeah, respawning takes yeah. too long. I, I, the animation Yeah, I does. mean, animation is nice, anim- but... I, I don't even think that. I mean, I, I think it's point. It, lo- it looks cool the first time, but I mean, after that, it's just like, okay, I want to get back in the game. I mean, Especially when you know you're going to be dying a couple times. It's like, ah, great. I, 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 yeah, I, just go to the bathroom. It, it is, as someone who played Borderlands more than both of you, it's just more of the same. For the most part. Uh, more of the same in the way where you're like, yeah, this is Borderlands. Um, yeah, this is Borderlands. <laughs> a lot of... I mean... It, I, I will say, though, the, the missions have been much more interesting this time around. For the most part. And, and yeah. even, even the fighting's a lot more intense. Yeah. I, I don't know about that one. We, we've, had, we've had some pretty close calls. We had to defend, defend that one point. I, I'm, I, I don't think it's... I think There's it's no parts that, that I feel have been real unfair either. That, I would say it's prettier. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, the, enemy, the guns are much more unique, which the, is something that I thought they would have a lot of trouble doing. And well, no. they're they're unique by having at least one nailed down attribute. As far as that is concerned, no. Not I yeah, really. uh, I I don't think the guns are very unique. I mean, the guns compared to the first one, I, I oh yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Compared to the first one, mm. they just I think like, so. So like you know, the one I like are the dolls because they are sniper rifles, but yeah. assault rifles when you scope in. Yeah, and then like what the the Jacobs you can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. The, the Jacobs have a lot of uh, it's a mix. The Jacobs you can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger, or it, it's got a uh, really high power versus a lot of the other models. Yeah, they they all, they all have something. Um, the elemental effects I think have been downplayed. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Uh, it's a lot more skag this time around. That's what they're focusing on. Skag they, and no, corrosive. But even 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 that I think is just the. I yeah, used, well, what, I, used to, I used to think, man, how, I need to get a gun with elemental effects, and now it's like you know how eh. they offset that. There's barrels on the on there the map itself. Barrels. There are a lot more elemental barrels. Who carries canned electricity with them everywhere? Well, these guys do. It's called a battery. But no, no it's, it's, it's canned, canned electricity. electricity. A battery would it would look like a Duracell, and then you'd have to touch it. it. Has, you'd have to hit it with wires. It has um, contacts. Yeah, it has contacts on the top of that's, the thing. That's just how they charge it. That is a battery. And it's always discharging, even when you're not touching it. I don't think that's very safe. I'm I'm I am not made of oh, copper. Yeah. Let, let's just leave these caustic barrels in the middle of a battlefield. Yeah, well, yeah, they well do. I don't know why they do that. Well, regardless. Yeah, it's it's more of the same, but I don't, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. No, and no, no, I'm I, saying I, not to play the game, but I, I if you're going, if you're going in, in there, thinking that oh, it's... Man, it's if amazing. you hated one, you're not gonna like or you disliked one, you're or, not gonna like this or you played either. one... Because your friends did and you didn't feel like it, it's not going to change your opinion at all. But if, if you, you liked never, one, if you never played Borderlands, this is the one to go to. I would say that too. Yeah. Although one is pretty cheap right now. Well, one is they cheap. Increase the price. One is cheap mm. and really, I mean, if you played two before one, then yeah, I, I see you're not going to like uh, one. Uh, but I mean, if you. you really want to play one, I don't see any problem with that. Still, if you have friends. <laughs> <laughs> that are trying yeah, to get you into don't, it. Don't try playing this by yourself. No, really, it's it's not boring. fun playing it by yourself. I, I, it was see that that's the thing. I could see it being really hard. Um, no, no, it, they, not they at all. Scale down. It scales down. It scales down. I know it scales up. down, but I could still see it being a little. I know. Damn it. Um, I could still see it being hard as a single player. It yeah. 
Especially because you have no one to revive you. That that would make it a bit hard. But still, I don't know. This is a game that you need to play at least with someone else. Um, preferably with a microphone. Although if you're in the same room, it helps a lot. Um, but yeah, that, that came out. We've been playing that a lot. We've been playing, uh, doing a playthrough. Um, it's, in as... it's in complete parts number one because certain people click things when I'm trying to record different parts. Yeah, excuse me if I'm and not in the same room and I'm asking a question we, we had and no one is talking. I, I, I told you to wait. You we, told me to wait, and then I wait. was telling you because you <laughs> you were saying to him that you were looking Regardless, for something. Regardless, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy's gung ho. And second, <laughs> yeah, uh, just because I we've found actually no come in, we've come into bugs where there are some missions that are un, uh, un only one, only one so far. Yeah, but that's the one, the major one so far. Yeah, so it's uh. It's, it's as close complete. to it, the the main story will be there. We're we're also trying to cover a oh. lot of the side story stuff. Right now, we're at least focusing on the side, side missions squash. just to pad it out as much as we can. Because um, I will say it, it it is definitely as short as the first one, and I do think that the first one was short as as far as the main story goes. Though I mean, the side quests definitely extended out a decent amount, but. The first, uh, how long did we burn through it? Maybe 20 hours? And that was going through some of the side quests, you and me? Mm. Last time we played it, about 20 hours? 23 to 24. 23 to 24 hours. Me and, me and Tim burned through it pretty recently, the first one. Um, and from everything I've read, this is more the same. It's about the same. And it definitely feels like we're at least halfway through it, just yeah, just based on halfway, everything. Halfway. Um, so right now, we're, we're trying to go through and um, do all of the uh, side missions. And... Luckily, this time around, you actually kind of want to play them because, like I said, they're they're real unique. They're I want to play them because they're more interesting than the main story. That that, but they're also taking you to places that the main story doesn't take you, which I that's like. Still, that still applies to what no, I just no, said. No, yeah, yeah. I, I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying, where the first one you would be going and doing them in areas you had already been, and you're like, oh great, I'm back here. The side story this time around, or the side missions, are taking you to places that you haven't seen, like the Caustic Caverns. We did that that playthrough today, and that hasn't they haven't even touched on that in the in the main story. They won't. They won't. I, I, I obviously they won't. But what I'm saying is, I like that. I like that. Hey, here's this area, and there are these missions here. You can go do them, or if you just want to burn through the story, you can. Uh, personally, I I want to play the whole thing, so it, it's nice that it's an option. I, I do like that a lot. So. Uh, they have improved a lot of the things that I had issues with in the first one. It, it definitely feels like a fuller game, in, in a sense. Mm, I think mature. Okay, you can put it like that. I, I, I It feels... They, cause it feels more unified. Border, Borderlands 1 was definitely a proof of concept. Cause yeah. I, we haven't finished the game, obviously, at this point, but I'm sure there will be a Part 3. Yeah. Part 3 will probably be on next-gen consoles. Part three might, I would imagine, have six player co op. That would be great. Maybe even eight, because then they could really take advantage of raid type stuff. Yeah. Which this game doesn't have. My uh, this the uh, probably I think the best addition to this entire game, entire game, uh, is there's a trade system between players. That, that's true. Um, that is that is probably the best thing. Um, things that it needs, it needs to have loot rules like uh, the host needs to be able to set. Um, loot rules on what is grabbable. Um, right now, currently, it's just like, oh, I grabbed all this stuff. You or, know? or do it, do a dice roll, obviously. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I mean by loot rules. It, you know, yeah. pick up if it's there. You can see it's like greed or need. Free for all, or or do a, a dice yeah. roll. And none of that exists, as far as I know. Yeah. Um, so that is definitely something they need to think about for the future because. Um, between us, we can play it and trade between each other. We understand. But when you run into people in the wild, yeah. Uh, and from what I've heard, actually, just just digging on on my own, um, I don't know if at this point this has been fixed. But I'm going to mention it just based on what I've heard. Um, and I don't know whether this applies only to one system or all three. That being the PC, um, people have apparently been setting up private um, private games. And having people join publicly because it doesn't on, on it PC? doesn't on I don't know if it's all three just one system but I've heard that that's been happening and they'll they'll say that you know these these guys will come in and uh, you know they'll come in at, at a certain part of the story where they're about to get the chest they'll come in they'll they'll grab everything and then they'll just exit out of the game and the game saves and hey they, they stole wow. all my shit. <laughs> and now I, I I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if it's an issue where 
for whatever reason, the matchmaking just isn't detecting that it's supposed to be a closed off game. You know what I think it is? I think it because you can set who comes in the game. Mm-hmm. I don't. I think it's one of those things where you say friends only, and people probably have so many friends on their friends list they don't know who they are. No, this and, is, and, this has but, been this has been multiple. No, I, I could see this on a public server. But keep in mind also when you're at a certain level, it says what mission you're on. Right. So if you you have people on your friends list that you don't know and yeah. they just join you, yeah. Take your shit and leave. It's possible, but who knows? If you, if from what I read, these guys are locking it down to say everyone that is in the party now is the only ones that can join. It's three people, and they're randomly having people join in that they don't know and taking their shit. So that would be a perfect example of where and that might the mar- loot rules that mighty morphin quest is bugged on all three platforms. Yeah, um, where. I don't remember the name of the monster. I can't remember, but you're supposed to get uh, one where you're supposed to. Uh, it starts mutated, with a V. It was mutated something. It was a little like the the ones that look like uh, wasps. Warped, 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 whatever. That was like that. that one's unfinishable right now. Um, some people have been able to do it, but the majority seems they can't. Yeah. That means you can't get the completed. If you're a trophy hoarder, that means you can't get the completed all side quests. Still bad shot, which is <laughs> bullshit. Get in on your second playthrough. Yeah. What if people don't want to play second? Then they're not really trophy horse, though, That's are they? Yeah. <laughs> I give them that. You're answering your own question. <laughs> and they have to complete Vault Under Mode, I think, to get all the trophies. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. A what couple Vault, of them are what, hidden. I don't know what Vault Hunter is. Uh, it's basically, hard mode. it's extremely hard mode to the point where, uh, in one of the interviews I read, they said you actually have to take more advantage of the elemental stuff. So basically, in the normal mode. They took out a lot of that whole you needing a certain element gun for that, uh, and when I read uh, it was I think it was Randy Pitchford that said this. Um, when you do Vault Hunter mode, you actually have to treat it more like an RPG. So in that you have to prepare and say, okay, this area is going to have X X monsters. I Meaning you want to carry a fire abilities. gun, so electric. you have to carry fire. You and they said um, actually carrying scag guns in that scenario is ne- necessary for you to beat the game. You know, as nice as my turn, it's going to be shooting skag in I think one of the next levels. That would that would help a that, lot. That, it, it'll shoot it, it'll shoot the skag on top of the machine yeah. gun. On top of the rockets. We, what, what's great about that too is my my setup, my double gun setup, is an assault rifle with explosive on the left, and my sniper rifle, which now shoots two bullets per shot yeah. that take down shields. Oh, so geez. plus skag, that'll just add uh, onto the layers. I, I mean, there are definitely some common. Like I've 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 at my first, bullets just go faster. And at first, my rifle. character I thought felt like the weakest out of you two, and yeah. now fucking my mind's the weakest. Unstoppable. Yeah. I, I would say but yours has the ability to dodge. When you guys were, were dueling, I saw you dodge, and I was like, "Whoa, that was pretty cool." I wasn't that, expecting that. That's not a dodge. I well, just well you the... sent it out, but the turret went for him rather than you. Yeah. Oh, you mean when I used the cloak? Yeah, you used the cloak, and it oh, went yeah, for yeah, him yeah, after. Yeah, and it... I was like, "Okay, that, I get how that could be cool." Because at first I was like, "I need a sword." Use your damn sword. You can, yeah, but the sword is only the melee weapon, and even then, it's weak. Because you need to get the you need to no it's because I'm not building Admittedly, that, that would I'm, be I'm not cool building addition. that skill tree a, a it's sword a sword or a melee weapon that would be pretty cool I mean if if they put a melee a melee based character but they don't let and him they, melee and if, they, if they give it, it the characteristics of like Dead Island. Yeah, I mean, all it needs I would to do like is, a like, a slash. You can give an elemental slash. Or co- there were so many things they could have done with that. Yeah. I mean, that they could have put addition. a sword in there for the character. Well, my, my, gun, my, gun, my gun had a thing, and it was it was counting as a bladed weapon. But it, but it was an impaling, right? No. It was, no, a, it was a, a slashing. slashing. But my pistol... and, and see, that's another thing. When, like, the pistols that have the, the yeah, blade on they them, don't impale. mine doesn't pull the sword out. It will use the gun. Yeah. Oh, oh well, I th- yeah, it's explosive. Because matter of fact, some of the guns that have that attached to it give more melee damage. Yeah. Not all. I have had a couple that have had. I'll tell it, you, Mike. I, I'll be honest. I was bored with my character thinking about starting a siren until I got the rockets. Once I got the rockets, and then I just saw that. I, I think, See, I, 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 I think still the siren. I am still no, because I after I watched like one of the reviews yeah. and I seen the siren's power this time. Yeah, I could see that being a lot more effective than the, the soloing out burst. a single. I don't know. I, I thought it would be more like the original phase locking, and uh, I don't know. She still seems a little. 
I, I think it would be yeah, a lot yeah. more useful than my character and more useful than Lilith. You're, but your character has emocons on his face. Uh, that's true. I don't get to see them, though. Oh, but uh, we do. Like, when you're when you're reviving me, you have a heart. <laughs> yeah, you have a heart. When you're looking at your menu, you have a question mark. I, I gotta see that. I, I gotta <laughs> when, see that. Whenever we trade and you get a better gun, he, he does a, a smiley face. <laughs> I have not seen it, see? Yeah, I don't get to see that. Okay, so... Oh, and you're the only one who's missing giving clap... Uh, here's here's one that's not so much of a spoiler, but uh, if you want a trophy, achievement, whatever. Uh, when Claptrap asks you to high-five him, use your melee on his hand. Yeah. You get a trophy. You haven't done that one yet. But he's you, never asked me to. Yeah, well, the, the, the reason is to. he does it in very specific story context. He's only done it twice. Yeah, so next I, time it's your I did the first chance. time just like, ah, oh, I'm just going to try it. And then, yeah. ding! I was like, ah! Oh. And then this time you had a birthday party. Yeah, very <laughs> sad. <laughs> spoiler. But, well, it, yeah. I mean, it, there's some things that are great about it, but it's one, um, unfortunately not Game of the Year material. No. No. Um, no. It, not, it's not different enough to be... No, I mean, I, I think it's good for what it is. I think it's good as a sequel. It's a lot of improvements, but essentially it it's is not, the same It's game. not enough. And I think it, it's, it's the same game, just more focused. It's, 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 it's really not enough, is and, what it comes and, down to. It's gonna be, well, yeah. It's going to be a huge turnoff to the modern warfare meathead types. Yep. They're not going to like this. Yeah, they, they, I, mean, they, I don't, they I don't like think the they like the first one, but you know, yeah, well, if they even skip the first one, they say, well, what about part two? If they yeah. go to part two, they're still not going to like it. Modern warfare meatheads, though, only want modern warfare. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They want, they want you know, one shot, one kill. They're, they're not gonna like that. Sni- I was like, they're not gonna like that. Snipers yeah, do they, not they, kill they want, one shot. They want their- well, they're they're not gonna like that. They're not gonna like the fact that the that the weapons are so different amongst themselves. I'll, I'll actually say, real bullets don't shock yeah. people. I, I did. I, <laughs> wow. Yes, that's, that's true. Wow. <laughs> Yet they're playing Black Ops too. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, but that's the future. Actually, oh. I, I switched. To, I, I, can, I can see this argument happening. <laughs> Tell me if I'm yeah, lying. I bet if we went to GameStop and just took a microphone. Yes. Just, yeah. <laughs> We don't. I, we know because we've heard how derivatives come, of these things before. How come one of their powers isn't a UAV? Oh, yeah, why are all the enemies marked out on the map? Why can't they go prone? There. <laughs> That's it. That's the ultimate question. Where's the medic? Wow. Okay, let's continue. Anyway, um, I, I will say that this game has had me change up the way I play. In the first game, I use SMGs and assault rifles exclusively. This game, I don't like them. Uh, in this game, I used a sniper rifle. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'll agree. This, you know, the last game. Uh, remember, once I got the revolver, yeah. I used that through the whole well, the fucking revolver, game. revolver, I hated pistols in the first one. I hate. Um, I hated specifically because there were two types of pistols, and this one there's only pistols. No, there's there's still repeaters and revolvers. No, but it, it counts as the same skill. Yeah. Yeah, they use the same ammo. So I'm, saying, time. I'm saying, but in the, the first one, See, it was, I don't it was, like it was separate. It was separate. I I don't like that. You don't I, like that they're the same? In no, the same class? I don't like that they're in the same class. I do. I it's don't. not another tree I have to level up. No, I do do not like the repeaters being with the revolvers. Why? Because I would like to have a repeater that use separate ammo from my revolver. It's not like you're using it enough to run out, are you? I'm running out of ammo left and right. I don't understand. Well, I have. I, then again, I'm going to talk. I have. A, I have an ability where every time I go berserk, he builds up his ammo. So I can't yeah. really say that. I use a revolver we're, we're, mostly, and then I and then remember the how fast down. I can fire that revolver. Well, they give you a lot more bullets. Have I mentioned they give you a lot more bullets this time around? There are a lot of. Bullets. What have you been spending your 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 upgrade points? I have on? the entire backpack. I have the revolver almost maxed. That's the, I'm I have I'm, the I'm, not at, I'm not at full of my revolver and I have like 400 shots. How are you going through 400 I think shots? I have 530. My my I use my revolver primarily until we get into a heavy engagement. Then I switch to the sniper. I use the SMG. I run a sniper before I, I use run the, a revolver. I use the SMG until oh, that's out of ammo. Well, that I can see. I use the revolver in quick situations. I'm not saying I run out of revolver oh, ammo. I was gonna say oh. shit. I, I well, then, 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 then he's doing that and then switching out to the pistol. So I kind of can see how he can get low. I mean, I, I mean the SMG. I like them. They're more accurate than the assault rifles, but they're bullet hoses. I think they, they run out of ammo. You know the quick. thing about the assault rifles is they're they're 
they're glorified mini rocket launchers almost. Yeah, Yeah, because I've had like now three. As a matter of fact, you got that one rifle. I picked up one that was better than that, just a little better. But the only assault rifles I've liked are the explosive ones. Yeah, the explosive ones are great. That's all I've been carrying. Yeah, I mean, they're like more accurate grenade launchers. And and the the, the nose on them are all like fucking huge. Oh, no. I like like how they have that drop-off arc. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I really like that. I mean, it it doesn't shoot straight. That that makes you kind of have to compensate for it a little bit. I just, Um, I prefer the sniper. Yeah, but... but, I was playing all shotguns the first one around. I'm using the assault rifle and the sniper. I only started using shotguns until we... Started playing well, well, that's why. That's it, it. In the first one, I I'm, I use a revolver through everything unless I was trying to hit things at a far distance. I was using the sniper. This game, I'm using the revolver as a backup, but I'm mostly using the SMG and the shotgun. There's only one sniper I used in the first game, and it was, I forget, it was like one of the... And actually, I want that shotgun I gave you back. Something like in the quarter into the, the game, you get one, and there are these huge, long shells, and it only takes, shoots three or four. Oh, is it the one that's got the the triple? Yeah, yeah. The triple it's cannon. Like it's, it almost it's like almost a like a pistol, yeah. like a revolver. Yeah. yeah, but that's the only I use because that one was big, good for that big uh, the big flying one. I can't so remember the name. Speaking of something similar to that with the assault rifles that I hate in this game, or the assault rifles that have the three barrels that spin. I haven't had too many. Too many, to be honest with you. I've know. I've had three of them so far, and you where it looks the one that spins sideways. Like, no, 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 like no. This? It has three barrels on it, and the three barrels spin. Oh, the problem like, is like this. They, they only have like twelve. No, no, that, that's like a no, mini, they spin, like, like, They're like a minigun. Like, yeah, they spin like a minigun. But the thing is, it won't fire in succession. Yeah, you no, actually have to keep tapping it, and the clips are only like twelve. I yeah, but they're, but they're, they're supposed to be high powered. That's, they are. That's, I, that's, I had one that was like four sixty. He, he and, gave me one, and, and I use that for the good first. Three I, hours I didn't of the like game. him though because I mean it has so little ammo. It, you know, it acts like it should be firing continuously, and it doesn't. Yeah, that, that I, I and the accuracy on them is the not issue all that great. It, but they're really meant to be. You're up close and hitting them in critical spots. That's what that gun's for. It's also meant for my character, where my character has an ability where I can expand the clip and the capacity that it can hold in the chamber. Well, mine does that, too. Mine See, has, so, have mine you has, invested in that? Yeah, I have. Okay, good. At but some, those at, guns, they just still... At some point, he, he gets miniguns, flat-out miniguns. Yeah, I know. what I've seen. Me? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I like that. Like, mini, like flat out. Like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working on a, on a ma, on a, one of the trees that it'll give you guys uh, additional chamber. I'm working on getting the shield bubble, bubble yeah. shield for mine. Yeah, well, finally it'll do something useful. I, 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 Other than ruin, <laughs> kill everything. Like, oh, yeah, okay. I can't, it can't heal me. It can't give no, me ammo. It just oh, everything. It's just taking my kills. <laughs> yeah, man, you're just jealous. And I mean, me, I'm just... A combination work- of that and me... <laughs> I'm just wor- I'm just working on any- everything that improves my accuracy and fire rate and and uh, the recoil. Oh, I have I have almost no recoil. I've spent almost all the badass points on recoil I, <laughs> recoil the, reduction. The the explosive assault rifles give quite a kick. So um, I I'm, mine is very accurate with those my, because my, like I said, I I've spent most of the badass points on uh, recoil reduction yeah. and accuracy. I spent most of my points on shield recharge rate and shield capacity. Yeah. See, I don't really need that. I My double, shields and I, health don't go down that fast. I've doubled you have right because now. you're not taking as many hits because you're just like ninjing away. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> no, you're, you're at the wall, fucking shooting your pistol. That's why it runs out so quick. To, to be no, to, take that wall. <laughs> to, to, to be honest, it's coming right at me. <laughs> to be honest, I've <laughs> used that <laughs> ability maybe twenty times. You should be using. I've. I thought like, oh, it's like, it's just like, let's go. The, 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 problem, the problem with it is, is that I can't attack while it does it because as soon as I pull the trigger once, it cuts out. That's why you let the animation finish. I know, but maybe you should build a all, all, <laughs> we'll wait for you to be. All I can do is just launch it, reposition myself, and then fire. That's the only use I have for it. Because, matter of fact, the clone, it doesn't. Do any damage? You know you can trade out your guns to any other character, right? Yeah, but I'm at lo- what? We're at thirty? No, we're at twenty-one. Oh, twenty-one. 21. I mean, you can level real quick. To, to twenty. We'll just we'll just take you to like one of the areas, yeah. and you just stand. And back. the cool the cool thing is you read that I, it'll. I I am considering it. I am seriously well, all your, considering all, all your badass points. Transfer over yeah, I, I know that counts to all the so, characters. Yeah, that'll be nice. I I am seriously considering it because. I mean, the, the ability is useless. Yeah. The only thing I like is that, you know, his specialty is the pistols, so, yeah. you know, that's what but I that doesn't really matter. Not really. I mean, the, the, the trees eventually 
factor out to that, but you know, you can get attachments that change you up. Yeah, so, where my guy's supposed to be an expert. My guy's supposed to be an expert with assault rifles. I have him classed out as an expert with uh, shotguns and snipers. My, mine's not really doesn't really have a specialty. Mm, they all do. They all, you're supposed to be like SMG. You're supposed to be rocket. SM, I no, I, I think he's supposed to be a. I got really no, nice SMG. It would have to be SMG. Four thousand. Mine's uh, mine's a little bit shy of three. Mine's three nine thirty nine forty seven. I think. Because like I, I just bought that one. Yeah, but you could see that even though we say it's it's not quite game of the year material, we still talk about it a lot because it is a very good game. Well, you know what? The other thing that helps. There's nothing else out right now. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta say that. Not, that, <laughs> not until well, was the next week or the week after. The week after. And, not, and not not this week. The week after that. Okay, but let's let's put it in perspective. Well, this game will have at least two playthroughs, very likely. Yeah. We're not recording the second one. Time. No. No. <laughs> Um, unless they change a lot. If there's nothing, I, I, no, there's, if there's no change in the story, what's the point? Resident if they Evil, have different bosses? Resident Evil 6, which you're referring to. Yeah. Although the demo was good. He's backing out on it. No, I'm so not it begins. On it. No, I'm he not doesn't want to get it. And besides that, we only need two players. I'm not backing anyway. out on it. It's not going to have the same replayability. That's true. We'll say that much. And, and it's very likely that, I mean, I have a feeling I'm going to like Leon's story. Yeah. And I'm going to like Jake's story. Just what I played, I don't think I'm going to like Chris's part. I, I think the... Probably the, don't like the emo -ness. No, I, I think well, what he says about the replayability I can agree with, because he took out the replay factors that 5 had, which was, you know, work your way up to the ultimate level by getting all these badass guns. Uh, doesn't have that as much anymore. I know you could still upgrade your guns, but their general, you know, shoot ten percent faster, shoot from the hip ten percent better, or whatever. I, and you know, uh, I don't know. It's if Curses is gonna be all like uh, action shooter, oh. the RE engine does not support that well. Leon's are like just that that level I'm, alone. I'm was hoping. I'm atmosphere. really hoping it was just a demo. And Jake's just based on I, how compressed it was, and, and, and a point. To I, this, I'm not even saying the way it looks, but I no, I, no, 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 I, no. I agree with him that the, the way it plays, the engine, you know, the way it plays. If 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 Chris is going to be a run and gun like it, yeah. like it looked in at, at least in that level, I mean, who knows what the rest will be like? Mm. But if it if 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 it's going to be any more than that, then that is going to be way too hard to play on that engine because that and like he said that I'm that not, is just not, not hard, right for it. Yeah, uh, uncomfortable. Well, that, that's why it would be hard because I mean, the, you know how like well, when it climbs up ladders, well, the way the camera pans. Luckily, you have it, you just... have someone to rely on that makes it at least not yeah. Yeah. as frustrating as it was in the first one. Come on! Oh god! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking war flashbacks, man! <laughs> Shut up, Sheva! Shake, shake! She's not dying. Yeah, and this time we're not going that. after a jewel. Hey, just before the end boss. Hey, did we kill the end boss? After twenty tries, but he died. He had, I had six bullets. He punched. He, he punched a boulder. That's all that matters. Yes. <laughs> That's true. You know how long it took him to remember how to punch that boulder? No, it, it, it was a, a bitch. Wesker was not that hard it, it, when he was. No, doing it wasn't that hard. Thing. But he could not remember how no, to make about, him punch the that. boulder. I'm talking about when, he, when he's doing the weird tornado. Thing. Oh no! After that, it's oh, getting that to easy. that point. Fact, after that was easy. That was just making sure I made yeah, every shot I, count because I, I didn't have any bullets left. I remember the first time I played it when uh, the first playthrough. I had saved up all my sh canisters for the grenade launcher, and I just fucking I've killed him with that. I'm sorry, but it is hard to kill Wesker when all you can do is melee. We were out of bullets. Ah, Jesus. I don't know. I mean, like I said, uh, Leon's... I'm, I'm more... Ex the only thing I'm really excited for, for that is Leon, because Leon looks like... Classic R.E. Classic to, to, to where it's like, okay, this is this is where to go, because I didn't like the African setting. Not, I'm not being racist. I, just didn't, yeah. I didn't really like it, you know, um, and I didn't like all the underground stuff. Um, See, I, I don't... I don't too claustrophobic. I like the game, but I didn't like the setting. The setting. Um, so, see, me, I, I didn't mind the setting. The thing is, is I don't know if I skipped a game somewhere that I don't even know how the hell he ended up there. Who, Chris? Chris? Yeah. Through the BSA. I know that, but I'm saying I don't know how he ended up. No, in they that just to assigned him. They just assigned him. So it's yeah. just kind of. Like oh the here virus is here now yeah, yeah. yeah okay okay see that, that was the one thing I it's never kind of like Leon when Leon go to Spain 
well, of all places. Because he was working. They explained. I know, I know, that but I mean, no, but they explained. What I'm saying is, it's random parts of the world. No, but for they, no they, real good reason. They, but they, at least Leon, they made him. They it made a little more sense why he was. Ah, there. the president Czar's been kidnapped. Let's set a one guy with one gun to <laughs> Spain. One clip. <laughs> what? A woody part of Spain. I've never heard of the woods in Spain. <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a forest in Spain? No, it's okay. He's got a knife. I've always heard of Madrid just being really hot. But he's got a knife, so it's okay. Costa de la Sol. Okay. <laughs> Las Blancas? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, okay. I got a knife. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't complain about the mansion in Uncharted 3. Just being out in the middle of nowhere. No, that's, that's, they were in France. They were in France, but in the middle of nowhere. Look, motherfucker. No, On the other side, the Eiffel Tower and, and, and shit were there. You just couldn't see it because the mansion's like huge. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I said, six is not going to hold our attention. Not for long. Well, I'm just saying it's the start of things that are coming out at least. Um, and what else comes out in October? Because I can't remember. Uh, October, I believe, has Ragnarok. But I don't yes, know. Yes, it does. Yes, okay. It does. Um, it has Ragnarok. That, that, we can't do a playthrough. I'm not going to record in there. <laughs> well, besides uh, that, you're probably the only one to get it because I can't see him playing that. What Ragnarok? Yeah, I might get it. You might get it, but you're going to let it sit there. You'll play it a little bit, but I, I, I don't... I'll play it if he plays it. That's what it comes down to. I know, yeah. but... If it's a single player, I if it's... A, it's like Diablo. It's co-op. And we can play... We still want to play Diablo. We need to finish Diablo. Okay, you let me know when... It's Nowhere. not... It's not like I'm... No, oh, I you, it's not... And, and he can attest to this. It's not like I'm busy doing Stop anything. Stop touching me, goddammit. Ah! No! <laughs> it's, on, it's recorded. Don't kill me. Edit the redacted. <laughs> well, <laughs> Timmy, Marco died of his own accord. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he signed this will right before he died. That, that can under dry must have had nuts in it. Oh, his weakness has been reported. I don't say what kind. Why does it that get redacted? <laughs> well, just stop. Just have to try multiple types now. Ugh. Uh, oh, it, it didn't help that you Ragnarok. tried reviving him by stomping no, you know, your foot on his chest. You, you know what the thing about Diablo is, Diablo, man, it is slow. Yeah. And then you finally get to a point where it's like, great, and then we had to stop, and then Borderlands. Yeah. And it, that's kind of how, because we, we had played it for I'll, a bit. I'll be honest, I don't think we're touching Diablo for a bit with everything coming out. But I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's the start, I think, so we it went have... for It went from what's coming out to, oh yeah, there's so much coming out, we're never going to get to it again. No. Uh, That's why he just made it sound. It's it's there's enough coming out to keep us busy. And you know the thing about Diablo is, uh, I, I can I want to play it for a while, but I don't want to play it indefinitely. No, it gets it gets tedious real quick. Yeah, and that's not that's not so much the game itself. It's just because I'm not I'm, there's no D three hate here because I didn't really like part two to be honest with you. Um, it's more just that kind of gameplay doesn't hold my attention long enough to play more than an hour or two. And it, it's tedious. <laughs> that's what you it know, comes it, when, to. When, you get, when I get swarmed and shit, that's when it's great, but that doesn't happen enough. No. And it would be nice if you were there, because then there would be more monsters. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, I don't know. But you want me to play? Buy me a graphics card and a copy. You're doing... Hey, no! He's, he's going to start working soon, hopefully. He can get a graphics card. You should honestly get a graphics card once you get it. No, I, I am hey, definitely. I, I'm not saying that should be I, your I'm top priority because you have other of, things. Speaking of no, Diablo, no, no, did you no. try Torchlight Two yet? No, it finished loading. But every time, the only time I would have been able to play it be today. We yeah. ended up playing Borderlands. And you, did you try? No, I haven't tried it. I gotta load. I'll I, load I, it up I only tomorrow. played. I only honestly, played ten I minutes of it, and it's uh, cartoony Diablo Three. I I've I've read reviews. I've seen videos on it. I I definitely know what it's supposed to to be going for. I know that it'll run on almost anything if you, you look at the minimum. You just want to play it so you can find the claptrap. That, that's true. That's true. Actually, I just well, about that today. well, so some guy uh, found out in the in the console that there's a command where you can spawn the whole shitload of them. He just he spawned like fifty and he put it on Reddit. But uh, yeah, so Resident Evil Six. Um, Ragnarok meh. Odyssey. Well, I know yeah. there, I know there's another mech coming out in a couple of days, or at least for him it's a mech. What? I'm going to see how I can get a copy of uh, Dead or Alive 5. Mm. I, I'll tell you this much to me. Based on the last Team Ninja game, I'm more excited about Dead or Alive 5 than <laughs> Ninja, Ninja Gaiden 3 <laughs> or, or Z. I haven't even watched the trailer uh, for that. Z. Z might be cool just because it's zombies. That That's the only thing I can say about but it. But Ninja, Ninja Gaiden already Ninja. had zombies. Uh, you you go to hell at some point. Yeah, but, yeah. Hell is yeah. not zombies. Yeah, hell are dead spirits. But this time they're coming to you. Oh, 
Oh. And that's the difference. Out of Mount no, no, Fuji this time. See, see, I don't go into Mount Fuji. You don't go, no. No, see, you what, are, what? you always were Mount Fuji. <laughs> see, bum, bum, bum. See, what happens is there's going to be innocent civilians, and you're going to accidentally hit them, and when you accidentally hit them, they turn into zombies. That would be pretty cool. You would I'm still them. not interested because after the last one, it was like, well, okay, I'm going to press X now. I, I don't or, know. Or, I, I, but, I, and then, no, 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 let me finish. And then it'll run through its animation, and then I'll wake up the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be on level two, and everyone will be dead because you pushed the button. Because it was it was scripted just to do everything by itself. Okay, if there's zombies though, what happens if there's a bunch of people out and there's a full, uh, what do we decide to call it? Apocalypse? No, 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 no. Um, uh, moving on. <laughs> moon. What did we decide to call the oh, moon? Neil. Neil. Cool, there's Neil. a full Neil. <laughs> it took him that long, and I couldn't. I, I, fix it. I, 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 I don't like, see the, the the. See, it wouldn't be so bad if we did these every week, but by weekly things yes. get forgotten. Yes. No, but I don't get what the moon has to do with werewolves. What does that have to do with okay, zombies? Okay, but there be well, that's what I'm saying. Are there going to be werewolves? Okay, but let, no. If, if there were vampires, I could see that. What the hell does that have to do with zombies? Let's, let's get, but let's be honest. I mean, that's as bad as Yakuza. There hasn't been. What does the no, Japanese no, 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 mob no, no, no. have to do with zombies? Let, yeah, it says the one that bought the game. Let, let, and still hasn't played. <laughs> 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 there, there, there are my tax dollars working hard. Let, let, let's put it this way. <laughs> there hasn't been a single teen ninja game that has had any civilians in the game. So shit is happening. Yeah. No civilians anywhere. No witnesses. It's just, it's all desolate. So how can there be zombies if the world is not populated to begin with? Because whoever the enemy is has turned all his minions into zombies. Wouldn't they have to be civilians first? Well, no. they are. They're technically civilians, but no. They can't be civilians because they're the attacking you The motherfucker was in New with. York and there was nobody. There was no fucking, like, uh, they all ran stereo, away. no... They're like cockroaches. Italian man. Someone There's turned no on the light, Ricans. and they were like like cockroaches, and Sa they all ran under the fucking Sail fringe. at Macy's. It was Black Friday. There we go. That's it. Thanksgiving Every Day Every fucking but Ninja how much, how game. How much blacker does his costume have to be? Oh, real Mike Black. Wow. That's pretty dark. That's... That we're so right. back to yeah. what's coming out soon. Uh, and, and soon is anywhere from one to Soon is November. November. <laughs> The Wii U, we're getting that. Yeah. Well, besides sure. the Wii U, thirty-two. Oh, well, we might as well talk about the Wii U. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna get the Wii U. We're gonna get thirty-two. At, at, well, model. question. Here's what I want to know: hmm. Was the all the details announced since the last one, last podcast? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm, the Nintendo Direct was there to some extent, but I don't think it was. A, did Did we have a release date last? Yes, we did, but we didn't. Did we talk about it? Not, not really. Deadly. Did we even mention it? No, because we were kind of like matter. Man. I'm just saying, do we need to mention it now? Yeah, I think I think we. Just I, I'm just. The basics. I'm, I'm really. I'm really wondering. I I'm don't gonna remember. Slap him. Why? I re I really don't remember. We no, talked no, about no, it. Okay, whether we remember or not does doesn't mean we not can't everybody still talk listens about to every episode. It. Although you should. God damn it. Yeah, um, well, apparently I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, I here. and I was here. And I left him. early. No. That's true. Oh, he did. That's the one where he left early. Yeah, that might be. So weird. we did mention it. We mentioned it. We we went over the prices, but we didn't really go into the depth of this. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to beat around the bush, but we're getting the 32, 32 gig model, which comes with the multiple stands, comes with Nintendo Land, comes in black. Thirty two gig memory. I already said that. It comes in black. Yes, yeah, black. It's black. It's black. The premium model is black. black. The standard model is white. Black. Mm -hmm. Which is which <laughs> no. is smart. They finally realized that you know. We can launch with more than one color, and black I is a I premium want color. Kirby pink, though. I'd be we, fine. We, we could do this. You're tempting me. No, no. you, you got to finish that damn controller okay, first. Okay, we'll, we'll get we'll Margo get back likes to that. To partially paint things. Hey, they look partially. I got like fabulous. I got like twelve projects that you know he's not either finished uh, funding. Or... Look, these twelve projects, we'll, we'll get to them. Uh, so as far as that, why we're we getting the premium versus the base model? Well, uh, we're not uh, cheap. No, well, no, well, that, that's part of it. For fifty dollars, let's put it this yeah. one. For fifty dollars, you get what's the first eight gigs? The first one, you get four times the memory. Yeah, four times the memory. That alone, I mean, and, and people are arguing about it. It's yeah. like you pay the same thing for an iPod Touch. Yeah. Isn't it like a fifty to a hundred dollar difference? Um, 100. it's double. It's double the memory for a hundred dollars difference. So, if you go by that standard, yeah. then Nintendo's giving you more for yeah. less. The charge stand. Admittedly, though, admitted, I will say, admittedly, against that point, SD cards are dirt fucking cheap. 
So we really could go well, up to it, a 64 it, to 128 it, card. No, but here, here's a big thing, what people are really probably bitching about. It's not that you're paying 50 bucks more for all that. It's you're getting all that for 50 bucks more when you could have, I mean, for 50 bucks, these companies, they make so much money, they could have just released that in the base model. I, I, now, I'm not saying I, I disagree. No, 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 I mean, no, 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 for I, 50 I, for I, it, I, hey, I think it's good. I, I think, but I, I know I a lot of people probably have that feeling. I will say this much. Uh, right in the feels. And, and I don't know if you guys agree. I think that by not releasing a game in the base model, that might not be such a good thing. Even if it was just like a... Like a like we play. Or we yeah, sports. Like we, we sports. sports. Or even like just like... Yeah, something like we no, sports. I, I, we I, sports I, I agree with that. to the... You know I, I, I mean? agree that it should have the, something to play out of the box. The, the Wii U was great because you had all these soccer moms that don't know anything. They know it's Nintendo. They buy the thing, and the thing was was fucking ready. It came with batteries, it came with the controller, it came with the sensor bar, it came with the nunchuck, it came with the system, the cables, the the power, the stand, and the game. You plugged it in, it was ready. You didn't need any memory because it was all on board. Everything was set up. It came with batteries. You could be, as long as you had a TV and somewhere to plug the power into, you were set. You know, you know the thing. Well, I mean, I can see that, but th there's a couple things that you have to understand. Number one, Nintendo would never release a console. Uh, uh, 3DS is an exception because they couldn't do anything about it. They won't release anything that they don't make a profit on. Yeah, Nintendo is not. Nintendo does not have a traditional Japanese mindset of build a base, market base, and then you build a profit. Because they already have a market base. No, no, even that, even that, they still, they, they've never been that way. Yeah. Um, where Sony is, Sony. Sony will take a loss at, at the first part and make yeah. a profit later, yeah. which is working for them. Um, so that's number one. Number two, I think the thing they're thinking of is this, which they are not playing up enough as far as I'm concerned. This will Has play online. all the Wii. No, no, no. It, it It'll will, play all the Wii well, games. It'll play all the Wii games, yes. But I'm saying as... I, and, and again, we could find out when it launches that this is this is a different case. It could even have something on board on that memory card itself that is as far as like a test. I doubt it. No, or, no, no. You know, what, what it comes down to like that is it will play all the Wii stuff. Right. Yeah. And it, the only thing they're saying is it'll use your Wii accessories. Yeah. Which is great. But they're not playing the... the what, what I'm not hearing enough from the public is this will play your Wii games. No, I, I, I get that. But then there's still a counterpoint to that that it's going to be in every child's mindset that gets it for Christmas or whatnot. Is I'm not going to be able to use any of the new features. No, no, no. It's not even that. It's that... Okay, I can use all my Wii games on it. That's fine. But I don't have a Wii U game. You know, as, as far as someone who knows parents and people want to be me to be a parent and been around kids... I don't want you to be a parent. I, well, neither do I. But, uh, well, Shut no, up, child. Uh, hey, fuck you, because then I don't get food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hi, you're feeding your real kids? What about me? The <laughs> from, a, from a parental perspective, other than the prices higher than well it's what I predicted yes. but still their thought process is you at least have stuff to play on this yeah. fucking and, thing and, 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 and then we can you can get stuff or earn it later. Yeah, and here, later. here's the child's mindset. I don't have a Wii U game but they're, wah, not, wah, wah. they're not the ones who are buying it. They, they yes, are not but the consumer. The parents will have to hear it until they break yeah, if down. If they're and like buy any it. parent well that they'll that see that'll happen eventually anyway, either way. I don't. You don't but want if one, you say here's a Wii U with a Wii U game in the box. And, admittedly, though, to, to add to Timmy's point, why the fuck did uh, the kid will say? Why did you spend fifty dollars more? You don't love me. No, that 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 that's uh, what, what, fifty yeah, bucks that. more gets no, you a much that, better that, that package. Last, that last bit. Well, well, not maybe maybe not not to that extreme. But it'll it'll be something like that. It'll be like, why didn't you get me the game if it was only fifty bucks more? And I got the memory, and it came with the blah 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 blah. Well, blah. That, uh, that uh, there, there's there's a split point there, at least for right now at the at launch, is one okay, yeah, fifty bucks more, you could have got all that. But then the counterpoint to that is, hey, how you can't will find them. Yeah, no, I, mean, I, I agree. Pre-orders are already sold and, and, out, and it'll it'll still be one of those things where they they can go to school and tell all their friends, hey, look, I got one. I don't have the game for it, but I can play Wii games. Well, uh, let's also keep this in mind. It the the fifty dollar one is coming with the N Nintendo Land, which is really a game. <laughs> it's a lot of mini games. Well, well, okay. but but well, it's, no, no, it's finish, still a demo. Let, let me finish. Demo. It's gonna be sold separately. Fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. So three for fifty dollars more, you get that. Let's just say retail, yeah. fifty nine ninety nine dollar game. Yeah, 
the cradle, the stand, all that stuff for yeah. the system and the and, and, the, and the screen, and the, the, the Wii U remote uh, controller. Whatever. What's it called? The, Officially, Wii U. The, the Nintendo iPad. And uh, wait, doesn't the, the the base one come up that too? No. It, no, wait. The no. base one doesn't come. Wait, it, it's a docking charging cradle for it. It's a it doesn't stick. even come with the stand. It doesn't come with it's, the no, stand. No, no, I, I know, I know that, but I'm talking about the gamepad itself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does, it does, it does. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. that'd be no, no, bullshit it, you're, if it didn't. What, for the 50 bucks you're getting the game, you're getting um, the, the docking. No, I, I, know all you're get, I know all you're and getting. And then the standard. The standard. Yeah, I also, know and then I, I'm, I'm going to continue with the Apple argument because this is what you And don't you also get a charger for the the screen? Yeah, the cradle. The charging cradle. Yeah, the cradle. Yeah, but you don't get any sort of charger with the first one, do you? It comes with an AC adapter. Okay, it would have. It would have to. They both. They both. It has its own what, separate AC. Adapter. I wonder what kind of batteries that thing takes. It, maybe you lithium can, ion. Lithium ion. Mm. And it's probably not going to be changeable. Oh. No, well, you'll have to. Take it, it would be a lot to, of batteries. I, yeah, I say you wouldn't. It would. It would be like D well, batteries. You, you no, heard this one's going to be recharged. It has to be recharged. Yeah. You know There's how, no you, way it's going to be. You heard the standard battery life for this thing is right. Uh, the three hours. Three hours. So it has to be lithium. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. I'm also going to use that Apple argument. Even even if we say it's unfair, if we take in consideration what people pay for extra memory on their iPod Touch, yep. Yep. iPhone, yep. practically any device, for for they're giving for you, ten bucks less than buying the game itself, you're getting the game. You're getting the RAM. more memory. You're getting the well, and the, then there's also the the and, and this is, this is only going to count if they deliver on it. But let's let's assume they do. That that the the, download, the, the online stuff, the online right? The exclusive uh, all that stuff. buying system. Yep. Which I, I really want more details on, considering we're we're going to be buying a Wait, lot of stuff. Yeah. That 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 brings up to another point though. If they're smart, if they're smart, they'll have some. Well, I'm sure they'll have demos, but they better have demos day one. Three demos. Well, going they with the last that, releases, I doubt it. You don't think so? Look at the 3DS. It took three to yeah, four months but, before but, anything. But look at how they're they're very meticulously. I, I may have to agree with planning you. this. They're, I would. I'm just saying it would be they smart. Meti- I'm not they, they planned out the, the, the 3DS also. They said this yeah. was going to be available. This didn't was they be get available. delayed too? No, they oh, said they day from day one yeah. that it was going to be released at a later date. But right, but and then didn't they say a date, and then didn't it get delayed? No, no that was the, the, the video delayed. service got N- delayed. Nintendo on their online services have never worked on yeah. time for anything. Yeah, I'll give you a prime example that yeah. doesn't even have to be console related. Look how long it took for the Pokemon Online web stuff to get implemented. They yeah. had they waited four months after release, and then that, that's what I'm saying. It? That would be that would be one thing that would it, help it, them out it, vastly. The having the only thing that's going to work at launch. Is their Meverse thing, yeah? Which to them probably <laughs> is going to keep people's attention, because it's the way Nintendo thinks. Meverse is going to be, oh well, everyone's going to want to communicate on their Wii U's. Facebook. Hey, we, you have a Wii U? Oh yeah, <laughs> I have a Wii U. <laughs> oh well, that was a good here's a, here's that a, was a good purchase. Look at this picture of my cat. It's gonna it's gonna last about as long as the Xbox avatars did. Reddit U. That's it's. That's what it's gonna I want to rent it up on my Wii U, and then you know people will be spending some time doing. Like, I, I I mean I I kind of consider it. I I, I want to call it the home syndrome because it's something that yeah. they're hyping. People use it to begin with, and then it's just gonna die. As more it's 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 a social aspect of it, and really, the hardcore doesn't. Think, the, the, the hardcore doesn't take to it like the casual would. Couple things they haven't addressed, which I'm pretty sure we already have answers for. They have not addressed that this thing will have a DVD player. I'm okay. saying no. I'm, I'm saying, saying no. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Two, two things about that. At this point, I don't think it needs it. it I really don't think so. I don't think so either? No, not with Blu-ray well, as it, set standard it, as why, it is. And that's another question. Well, why here's, doesn't here's, okay, that's the thing though. That's what I was going to address. These discs, I've done some research. I've looked into it. These discs are essentially Blu-ray. The thing is, the way they're getting around it is they're using the Blu-ray tech, but they're not using the Blu-ray specifications so that they don't have to brand it as such and they don't have to pay royalties out to Sony and the subsidiaries that own it, and therefore they don't have to actually follow and put the, um, what's the issue we're running into? I'm like, you know, oh, the, with HDMI. The, the, uh, HDCP. Uh, yeah. They don't technically have to put HDCP because it's not Blu-ray. 
That's how the 360 gets away with it. Yeah. The 360 gets away, it's an HDMI device, and it can pass all of the HD video because it doesn't have a Blu-ray drive. As soon as you put a Blu-ray drive into it, or the ability to have, which is also why it applies to graphics cards that can power it, you have to have HDCP. So the idea is, these are 25 gigs per layer, equaling up to 50. So it technically is Blu-ray tech, but I don't think it'll have a Blu-ray playback as aspect and the other thing is because they're doing that a lot of people are saying oh well even if they're using blu-ray tech eventually someone will come up with a with a homebrew app oh, yeah that's obvious but that might not be the case because they're not using the same specifications and the laser doesn't work quite the same way oh. so it's a 50 50 chance toss-up right now mm -hmm. if, if on some level they can code it to to be smart enough but even then, they're saying that if they somehow did figure it out, it would be real slow and it wouldn't be efficient. Uh, I, I'm sure with enough time, they will make something that does that. Um, but well, Nintendo's bet is, and the, we saw this through their um, Nintendo Direct thing, is their Nintendo TV, TV. Um, which is taking advantage of three big media outlets, yep. not including TiVo, Netflix... It's going to have Netflix, Netflix Amazon, yeah, Hulu, Hulu, and Amazon On Demand. All plus out of the box. Yeah, because that, 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 that was one of the things I was going to get into, that it, it doesn't need a DV drive basically because all that is offered now. Yeah. A lot of people are switching over. Because, I mean, DVD is still a standard that is out there, and it will be for a long time still. Yeah, it will be, but Blu-rays. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah. Blu-ray, but still, I mean, more people have more Blu-rays. Yeah. I mean, more DVDs than Blu-ray. Yeah. I mean, and, that, and, that's the way it is. Right now, the way it is, Netflix is also a but, big, a big uh, game. Another that. big thing, though, is that one of the reasons why they're pushing this digital, digital delivery services is also because in Japan, it's a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. People do it on their phones all the time. I mean, we're, here in the U.S., we're just starting to get stuff that they've had for years like that. And, you know, over there, it's more implemented, and that's why I see it. This probably wasn't even a thought that went into yeah. it. That it well, they, they have the infrastructure yeah. much, and, yeah. much more and, set and up And then having to have a DVD player in there is just a lot of extra software and coding that it, it just doesn't need. Well, in all honesty, it, it, it's not so much it doesn't need it. I, I don't think it would be that much more... My, it wouldn't be that much poor, is, but I mean, hell, the Wii, the Wii could do it, and all it took was a simple no, but See, my, my issue is they have, they, they, it's obvious from their video that they've realized they've lost the hardware, hardcore fan base, other than hardcore Nintendo fans, because yeah. they still exist. You know, my, my hardcoreness stops at about the Super Nintendo. <laughs> if you go back to the Super Nintendo thing, yeah, we're, we're on, but once Nintendo 64 comes into play, it's like, eh, you know. Uh, see me for me. It's the sixty four because the game. No, there was things was... that were great about the sixty four, but the Super Nintendo. I think is where that was. That was. I, I would that say was that, the I, epitome I of what Nintendo. Yeah, was. I, I, I would have said the Super is the pinnacle, but I mean, they still didn't lose me after the sixty four. And, and I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of GameCube stuff that was really good that yeah. I prefer yeah. over the Nintendo sixty four. Yeah, I, I'll admit that because I mean, even some of the GameCube games that were released on other platforms, like uh, Soul Calibur, I actually kind of prefer it on the GameCube. No, I, I'm just I'm talking all, I'm talking all first party or completely um, the original or, to it to that platform, yeah. like Killer Seven or that that Cubivore. Uh, Cubivore, yeah. I need to get that. Killer um, Seven came on with PS2. Yeah, but it was a lot better on the. So was Resident Evil Four. Yeah. Oh, but, that there's a great example right there. Um, but you know, regardless of the fact. They, it was obvious to, to, to me in the entire thing that Reddy kept saying, the hardcore, this is appealing to the hardcore, yeah. look at these games that the hardcore are going to like. They have realized they have lost the powerhouse that... That that, the, that they once were. No, not only that. The hardcore or, are what keeps that business alive. alive because yeah. soccer moms buy once, they never <laughs> buy again. And then they only buy the cheap budget kitty games. Yeah. And Nintendo got a lot of money for that. Great. But that's not going to happen with the system, and uh, yeah, I, uh, no. especially with the entry point. And soccer moms don't give a fucking rat's ass about 1080p and HDMI nope. and and upscaling properly and 16 by 9 resolution and everything. Online services. Progressive what, what, scan what, and everything things, else in the world. One of the things that I like, I like that he said in the event was when we look at when we look at a system, we look at what 
features you get when you buy it all together. Oh yeah. You know, and and he said you know TVI is a uh, TV. V TV is is a great <laughs> example of that, and 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 I started thinking, you know what? When you add it up like that, and you look at it like that, he's right. You know, you are basically buying a box, and the more you know, pretty features or cool things it does, kind of starts to justify the price. Well, let's also think of it this way, and this is perfect. This is Nintendo over Microsoft. Yeah, you don't fucking have to pay gold to yep. watch. Netflix, well, which that, you have to pay. That is, that is and, actually bullshit. Actually, there is one thing about you know how he said that you know what, for what you pay, you get it in the box. I mean, that's not always something that people think about because look, the PlayStation Three does a lot more well, than the Xbox. That's that's a perfect but example. Though they cost the same. Well, here's the thing though that to to say that if I, and I don't know if you guys are on the same page here, but I think if they had both launched as the as they were in their final versions. You know, the PS3 and the 360 launched on the same day with the prices that they had respectively. The PS3 might have sold worse in a way because of the price. But if you look at how much more it had, it, it, well, it, it was, it was, I'll, you know I'll, what I mean? Let's, let's even the playing field. If they both sold launch day at $300 and if both of them are were at the same, let's say, software version now. Yeah. I'll even give it this because most people prefer the Blades. Let's say yeah. the Blades versus where the PS3 is now. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't like the current home screen. I would say the majority. Uh, the, the, for for the dashboard? Yeah, the dashboard. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like wait, There's the PS3, about, the PS3 no, no, hasn't no. changed very much. No, no, no. But let's, let's say in, its, in the iteration yeah, the, of the, like, the, the Blades. The Blades dashboard Okay. Uh, and the X and B, and it has whatever features were added. Let's let's yeah. let's let's say if we pl even the playing field, Sony would have stayed ahead just on the simple fact that people would have been going from the PS2 to the PS3. Yeah, yeah. The 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 PS the PS3 had backwards compatibility two systems back. Xbox had it very limited, if at all. Yep. They they had to do it through patch updates, which you needed online for. And even then, it would still... Really you need it online for it. That's a whole other thing. So you needed gold for that, where all of the online services no. on the PS3... Back when it first came you out, you could silver. do it with silver. You could do it with silver. Well, okay. You needed you needed an account. You needed online. Period. Yeah, you needed, you needed online. You needed online. You, you, yeah. need, you need online, and, and you need a gold... Broadband, even, in those, even when they first came out, was not even nearly as prevalent as it is now. Yep. You need a... You need a gold account to access Netflix, which in, in itself is bullshit. I know so many people that have a PS3 just as a Netflix box. Yeah. That sells the units because not only can you, you know, it, not only is it still a great Netflix box because they're developing for it a lot, it's still one of the cheapest and best Blu ray players you can find. Well, if you're an audio video file and you're not building a media home PC, yeah. Then you're better off just buying a PS3. Anyway. Yeah, especially you know I I always like the people that go for the you know, oh well I'm buying a one hundred dollar Blu-ray player. Yeah, that that's great. But what happens in a couple months when they don't do firmware updates oh, shit. and that brand new Avengers 3D Blu-ray doesn't play? And you know that that happens. Oh yeah. And who stays up to date on the Blu-ray? PS3 yeah. because they have the infrastructure to you, do it. You know the funny part is, first time he's here, I. 360. Just, hey! No, 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 no. Oh, no, I, 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 I don't deny it! <laughs> I remember when he bought his 360, and he was like that, and I'm like, you're gonna regret this down the line. You, you, you're, doing with, you're doing with the PS3 that I do, I'm doing with the Mac. Ah! I don't know <laughs> what you're referring to. He does I'm have a point. I'm becoming such a Macophile, it's, it's, it's scary. Yeah. Although, I'm His not wearing... turtlenecks in the mail. I do not have a turtleneck... It's in the mail. I do not have an iPad because I can't afford he it. He wears a dicky. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not writing a script. So that's not, why they disappeared yesterday at the fair. He was all. He was ugly. Steve Jobs is like. Oh, yes. ah. <laughs> I do not do do not ha, do not go to Starbucks or drink coffee. Yet. No. no when we're here. No, he'll go to Starbucks, but he gets tea. No, see when I'm in, when I'm go to Washington in, in October. So you can be like, what? I will have pumpkin pie milkshake. Fuck. You, I want pumpkin pie. <laughs> that does not sound good to me. Oh, do you like pumpkin pie? No, 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 no there's no, a problem. No, 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 no. It's like an ice cream pumpkin pie. 
It's like pumpkin pie you buy at the store, yes. but like an ice cream. So it's shake. like so it's like this? someone gave no, you but, pumpkin pie a la mode big. and just threw it in a blender. Yeah, well, the, the, you the, didn't the, have to do all the hard work. <laughs> Are you really that lazy? And, and that look, motherfucker! This this requires me having to go get a blender, and it's three fifty. No, it requires you having to chew. You don't have to chew this. You 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 drink it. Yeah. it's a shake. Are you that lazy? You can't yes. chew. Hey, look, motherfucker! <laughs> I, my time is counted <laughs> on the second. Do you know how many fractions of a second that would save? All I have to say is nutmeg. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be like, you know, it'd be, it would be like the, the ending of Mrs. Doubtfire for him, you know. Just <laughs> food that make. Ah, choking. He's, he's start choking. No, not, not James Bond. Don't kill him. <laughs> well, like, we just figured out why they could never kill James Bond. Ah, because they didn't use the, the chili powder. Here's Bronson's weakness. Well, whatever the case Yeah, so be. the Wii U is going to be pretty... Now the thing I want, the thing I also want to address because a lot of people don't understand this, you're not going to be able to buy an extra Wii U pad right off the gate. Yeah. But the thing that people don't seem to understand, and they're not communicating yeah. well, is that no you games don't will support need it. it. Exactly. Yeah. You need use one, and then you get the Pro controller. Which well, I, I do like. Yeah, I, I do like what they said that you can throw your Wii pad in a blender, and they will replace it for a, a substantial fee. Yep. One hundred and twenty nine dollars. Yep. But then that really doesn't surprise me when you think. It's basically a mini iPad. Well, it's that, like a mini TV. No, but you know, PS3, Xbox 360 controller, yeah. is sixty bucks still. Fifty five. Sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for the new models that get made. It's it, a controller. It's like sixty bucks for the 360 that has the adjustable. No, no, that, that's why any of the new ones that get, because even the new colors that get made They're are fifty. Okay. It, uh, triple the price. The, uh, wait, how much are the 120? 129. So, they're so about... double the price. A little bit over okay, double but, the price. I mean, we, we have to consider this has a capacitive screen. It has it's, a screen, the buttons, the accelerometers. It is essentially its own kind of 3DS in a way. It's yeah, no, I, I mean, I, smart, I, but I, I see the price being what it is for what it is. I, I may have no problem with that. And But they, like I said, the things that are not communicating strongly backwards compatibility. You don't need a second one of these because only one person is going to get it, which is going to be a problem with kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, There's going to be a lot gonna... of broken ones because I want to be the one with the screen. I want to be the one with the screen. I, 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 I'm calling this now. I can't wait until I see one of those through someone's screen oh. and just say, oops. <laughs> It'll I, be like the Wii all over. I, 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 I gave the pad to my, my two sons. <laughs> this is what's left. I, I'm just saying this now. Dibs for eternity. And there will be a cat in the background. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Reddit. Super creepy. Mario Brothers pissed me off. I regret Wait, nothing. But, 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 now the ultimate question. Is it the creepy cat from the Monopoly documentary? Man, you're oh, really, you can like, real <laughs> no. Or, even better, someone will throw the Wii, the Wii remote through the Wii U <laughs> to touch it. Well, that, that'll be in a gallery. It'll be hard. I, I, I have a better one. I want to see someone get a Wii U pad and combine it with a Wii U. That'll happen to a portable no. Wii U with the. Actually, you know what would be better? Portable N64. <laughs> with, the, with that, they take the back and you just slide the cartridge. Like, that, that's already. that's gonna happen Never too. Happen. Some, someone someone will mod that mod that those. screen. They've already done it. No, but if you the, take the, the Wii U but, screen, but you do the actual Wii U. What, what, oh what no, mean? not the Wii U screen. Of I'm course not. They, they go, they I'm take, saying a 64. They take this yeah. finished product and they and then they just they they, they gut it yeah. and they do it. Cause they've they've done it before in a basic shape, but, but it looks it nasty. looks real tacky. And no, I I seen tacky. a custom one done where they got the guts and everything. Yeah. in it, but they did a custom shell. That that's that's yeah, the exact one we're talking about. It still but looks put rough. It, put it into the Wii U. Yeah, well you game. try oh, you look at my try Wii U pad and then you, you Mario Kart sixty four. You try to make a pre made board into something. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. It's hard or not hard, or it would be real it's, easy to do in the X way. I'm saying it would be cool if they did that because it would look like a much nicer product. You know what exactly. I want to do? I'm just looking at this now. I I, I want to get a, an original PS2, and I want to put an LCD screen on the side. Just make it play there. That would be really on the side. Why not? Uh, on the top? I want a clear case one actually. I, I, actually, I just want one of those models. I I like those models. I want to get one. Okay. Yes. Well, so, Wii U. Wii U. Uh, we're probably getting Zombie U. 
I uh, definitely want zombie. Yeah, that um, one looks we good. need I, Super I, Mario. I, I, that's just what well, it goes well, 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 hold on. Uh, that's that's let's let's get back to this. Um, Bayonetta two. No, no, I don't. I <laughs> no. have no interest. I don't. Even oh, Bayonetta two that. exclusive. Hey, so Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we need Super Mario, obviously. If Rayman is day one, I think we need Rayman. Man, you're talking some money here. I, look, Wolfo, it's going to be pricey, but... I'm getting Super okay, Mario. Okay, then you're in charge of Rayman. Yay. I'll be in charge of Zombie U. No, you're in charge of Rayman. I'll be in charge of Zombie U. I, I, personally, as much as I'd like that I demo... I want Zombie U. As much as I like that demo, I'd rather have Zombie U. But I'd rather have Mario than all three of them. Yeah. I'd rather have Zombie Because U Mario one. is the mainstay. It may be the mainstay, and I know that's what people want to see, but, but I want yeah. Zombie U. Yeah. I mean, Mario, okay, it's Mario. As someone who's but seen Zombie, Zombie U in person? As somebody who yeah, also, yeah, yeah, about a lot of as, shit. As someone who has also seen Zombie U in person? Eh, not bad. From someone who's <laughs> seen it at the press conference and thought the, you know, the sniper with the screen was... Ah, no, you weren't there. You had to be there. I don't know. No, I, no. I'm just going no, by you know, Mario is Mario. I'll tell I'm you sorry. What. It's no, look, motherfucker. Mario. The Pikmin 3 Day 1. I am buying that. If, you, if that were the case, that's what I was going to say. If, if there was anything that you need to get, Pikmin. fuck everything else. Yeah, Pikmin. It would be Pikmin 3. I would so love and, it. You know, know, I would be every. Oh my god, it's portable! To, to you know, point, point, I'm, point. I'm, until I'm, he walks 10 feet I'm, away I'm and it cuts out. The problem is going to be, it's going to be the same problem the other Pikmin have. It's gonna suck. It, no, no, <laughs> no. They're, no, they're, they're really, they're, they're really good. <laughs> no. I don't know that boys. Me. It's not gonna sell. It will sell initial. Yeah, but after but that. it will not sell after. It'll be one of those things where only people who appreciate what it is. Yeah, yeah. Like it. I, I, I see. And, and the old, the other people that will buy it will be the ones that think it's a cutesy kids game. That's true. Yeah. And, and, and how dare they teach them evolution? It, it, it'll be the, <laughs> the, the, the fall. And they'll return it once they're like, oh, well, he's got to control multiple units, and that's too hard so for my what, daddy. What, what uh, What's this game based off of? It was ba well. it, It's based off of Darwin's theory of uh, survival. <laughs> <laughs> they help him survival of the fittest. They help him build a spaceship. I so dare you to be telling that to people online. I, 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 that's... Hey, we need yeah. to do a video. Hey, Pikmin 3 is the ep epitome of evolution. So what are you getting for your kids? Well, they're really into that Pikmin. <laughs> oh, you mean Darwin's theory of survival of the fittest. Oh, Darwin. Isn't that that guy? Who's okay, where'd you go? Where'd you get the chunk club from? <laughs> <laughs> Translation, SAP. Uh, that's, a, that's a flipper, a sandal. Flip -flop. I, I, Flip -flop. I, I just want you to get shirts made that say Pikmin 3, anti-creationist <laughs> simulator. <laughs> I am surprised hey, I was able to say now. that. You need to draw this now. I will wear it. Pick, so, no, Pikmin 3, and then you put Darwin's face. Spe speaking of which. <laughs> with, with the little. Yes, yes. With the little flower yes, thingy. Yes. Speaking of which, though. Um, with them sticking out of the back. Like, the like, the yes. background for the YouTube page. I came up with a different concept. I really like where it's going. The only thing is, is I'm drawing up a con like a small concept thing. I'm going to send it to my friend and see if he can draw it out for me. Like a cleaner version. Because he is really good at it. So if I can get him to do this and he's actually able to do it, um, it would be something really cool. Okay, but you're making sure he's drawing it at the dimensions we need, right? You know, he's going to do it like on a piece of paper. I'm going to have him scan it. We, we can, I well, can, you'll have to digitize I, it anyway. I'll, I'll digitize it. Uh, uh, you're going to love that because he puts a lot of detail. <laughs> I can do it. And I'll do sound effects. That's my As a matter of fact, um, I'll be right back. I, I really want to show you guys this yeah. sound, but you guys keep going. So, yeah, we, you, and... Uh, we're going to get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, it, Okay, the other thing I think we need to mention here. We'll probably do a video of that the oh, day we obviously. get it. Yeah. No, um, Hopefully we'll have it. That's what I, I want to I, talk I'm about. That's I'm what I want really, to talk about. yeah. They're not saying it, but I know it's going to happen. They haven't been manufacturing this thing that long. Yeah. There are not going to be that many units. Yeah. And this is evident by the thing that I want to talk about when Timmy gets back. GameStop restricting all future pre-orders of the Wii U at this point in time to their Pro Plus members. You, basically what this means is if you don't pay their $15 service to have their shitty magazine Game Informer, which is a shitty game magazine, yeah. all it is is good for pictures. Uh, if you don't have a computer and don't go on the net and research it any other way at a more admittedly, source. admittedly, occasionally they do break some some good stories. But you you can just look yes. at the cover and that's all yes. you need, which you can see in the store. Yeah, yeah. 
um, not pay fifteen dollars for. If you're not part of their little exclusive club, you cannot pr uh, pre-order uh, the Wii U at all. Period. Which is bullshit. Holy shit! Oh. Hey, what's going on? I don't like it. <laughs> There's too many boxes. I quit. <laughs> well, I told you this was a lot more detailed. Uh, I like. It. I haven't quite finished, but you get the idea. It's going to be more screens. But... but okay. Well, there's only one problem I have with this, and don't take this as a criticism as uh, what it looks like. Don't take this as a criticism as much as he hates it. But there's still going to be these giant boxes covering this. No, I know that, but uh, uh, that depends on how I lay it out. Yeah, because I want to oh, show. Yeah. You. I, I, I want to. He could chop a section of it and actually put position it right. Okay. But if not, you know, it would look good I, as a background that, or something. That, I, I, I like how my, my favorite part is the floating gun con. <laughs> what? This actually, it's supposed to be the zapper. The zapper, whatever. But, no, no, like no. I said, I didn't finish because I was, was, was going to put like the... <laughs> No, cause it's like, I, oh, where's the ghost? No, because like, they're supposed to be like hanging because I was also going to do like the super scope. Shit. But like I said, I'm not done yet. Fuck! But... What do you mean you're not done? I still have all that blank space to finish. And like I said, my friend will put so much more detail into what it. What are the legalities have fun. in this? Um, there's going to be similarities of <laughs> like changing stuff. Like I said, it's not finished. I, I'm, just, right. I'm just wondering. I mean, it looks good from there, but... I'm just, I'm just saying, saying there's going to be a giant boxes blocking most of that. It depends how I lay it out. But keep in mind that if I do have to lay it out on the side, it will be shrunk and it will cropped. be small. So you well, have like to, said, if, you, well, if, if you have to crop, you can crop. I mean, the, the thing I is... Don't, I don't, you're, not, you're not understanding to what capacity it's going to no, be. I, we'll, we'll, I, go, we'll go over it I, after. I, I, no, I, I get how it's going to be. Believe me, I've seen the page before. Yeah. All right, so on I'm to GameStop being a bunch of assholes well, blocking people. Assholes, yes. But I'll be honest, from a business perspective, it's kind of smart. No, what they should have just said is, look, motherfuckers, there's not enough of them. You're going to have to wait. People don't like that. Well, that's the truth, though. People you don't like that. You can that. see the problem is is that they're going to do that, but the thing is, is the, the flip side of it is is that people don't like it. They'll do it anyway, and GameStop is going to screw them over again by saying, okay, oh, well, Yours ended up being put in the second ship, yep. third ship, fourth yep. ship, and then there goes their money, and then and they that's end up having I, I guarantee you, they're not telling them that now because that's going to be something yep. that the employees are going to be told later on. Yep. Because you know, there's it, not it enough. Happened, it happened with the first week. The yeah. only thing I agree on 100%, which I can understand, is if they're going to do a reservation, it's forfeit if they don't pay for it within 48 hours. Which is which is being great. Announced. That, that way, I, you, that don't, I agree with. you don't you don't have all the assholes that are trying to hold it off, for and, you know. For eBay, yeah. yeah, that's that's good. You have and to... I'll be honest, I have a feeling this thing is. I think I think those days are almost over. I the the I eBay scalping? I don't think that's really. They, they'll be no, one or it'll, two. It'll be no, no. not one or two. Mm -mm. Crit, it crit. won't. It won't be as bad as the Wii, but mm -hmm. it will still I, be. There. I don't think so. It's gonna be. It's too close to Christmas. There's not gonna be enough. They will get scalped easy. It, it's something. You're also. All, I'm, I'm, it, gonna, it's I'm something talking about when you go on there and it's like. Five thousand dollars for it the will. Wii U. I don't no. know. No, uh -huh. I do not. There, see that there will be a lot that will be higher. Like, I say one or two hundred dollars more. The old yes. no. Just just no. to prove just to prove that point, um, Kotaku did an article about this the other day where they posted up that it, back when the PS3 and the Wii launched, they were doing that and they would put six thousand dollar PS3s and they never sold. They had to sell them at like a thousand. Yeah, but still, well, still, and a, th a thousand off of three fifty is still an exorbitant. In that's increase. that's exactly what we're paying now. At three fifty up to a thousand is good. I, no, I'm no, no. I, I'm saying three times the price. I'm saying we'll there will be people that any will more than that. Yeah, no. Well, that's what I'm saying. Either way, I'm saying a thousand bucks. I'm not saying six yeah. grand. I'm yeah. saying a thousand yeah, bucks. I agree is still with that. I think, but six no, and that will never stop. I guarantee there will be at least a couple people that will probably get that price for it at closer to Christmas. Sure, but the thing is, is that. There is no way that will ever end. I mean, it's, it'll it'll never end as it, long as there's any sort of production no, limitations. Well, production limitations or whatever is the hottest yeah, item to have yeah, at yeah. Christmas. I mean, it's been done with Tickle Me right. Elmo. It's been done with the Wii. Yep, he's absolutely it, right. It will but, never end. But I, I mean, I, it may not be you know some outrageous that's price what I'm referring like that. To. I'm saying that it's not going to be. It's going to be maybe there's going to be a, a percentage market. But it's you not said a couple be, hundred. I'm yeah, sorry. Hundred. It will I'm no. A couple, it, a couple hundred is way more than a percentage. Uh, I think it will be way above that. I'm saying. I'm saying a couple hundred. I'm saying dollars. it's three fifty. 
I could see them going easily I see for five, seven. I see five, six, yeah. hundred. That's what, what I'm saying. It's yeah. not a couple hundred. Yes, it is. Four, five, six, six is at an extreme. Okay, okay three, three to four times the price I don't think would be outrageous. If it were, it's three fifty, mm. three times the price would be a little bit short of a thousand. We're not going to be going on eBay in thousand, thousands. Uh, well, like when the PS3 came out, yeah, you know, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, yeah. six thousand. People, people won't pay it either which way. Yeah, they really won't. We're not going to see it. Yeah. I, I don't think that they won't pay it. Or I we'll think see that some. They can't I'll see it. some some idiot do it. No, but no one's they won't. Touch it. They won't pay it. If you see one listing for two grand and one listing for six hundred. Obviously, you're going to go with the six hundred. I know, but if say that now, now at the same time. If that's about the price they go for and they're completely sold out, then the market shifts over to that. That's a whole different story. It'll be, yeah, it would be a different story than that. And yeah. the, the only way you'll see even higher prices than that is if they say this is 450 at starting bid. Yeah. And then the bid goes on for, let's say, two weeks. Yeah. And with all the games, yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah. you throw in all the games and that's they, they got story. the warranty or whatever. And here's the receipt so you can prove it's real. And it's a 100% seller. And then you get a brick. Yeah. <laughs> that Those stories. Uh, hell, I remember my French teacher the, <clears throat> the 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 weekend it came out. She said she put um an eight hundred dollar bid on the PS3, and uh, while she was in class, she got outbid last last minute. Uh, it went for nine oh two. I don't. Really, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a different time now. Yeah, but and they were also super limited back then. The, yeah. P, the PS3s. We're more limited than the Wii's, which is something they don't talk about. Yeah, that's true. Um, so. Because yeah, and, but and the PS3s were also easier to get a hold of. Yeah, for a little bit after. No, not even a little bit after. I got mine a month later. Yeah, that's a little bit after. Yeah, I couldn't find a Wii for like a year. Okay, but that was that was because of the fact that any any shipments they made were being sold. I'm saying a month after, it was easier to find a PS3 if you went two weeks in. Not so yeah, much, the Wii, and that that's the Wii was also what two fifty at launch. The Wii was two fifty at launch. Yeah, two fifty versus six hundred. No, I know, but that's why he's saying there was fewer PS3s. Well, well, just to give you an, a, an example, of what I'm saying is the the Game Stops they were limiting they were limiting. You know, they were getting less than ten per store. Five was about the common. The PS3s was about the same. They were getting five to seven. Uh, the Target, and in fact, the one right here. Um, it, Commerce is the closest one that we have. Um, they got 67 Wii's on launch day, and uh, two days before had been the the, the launch for the uh, PS3, and they only got five. So <laughs> yeah, well, also as we have opened up that PS3 multiple times, yes, as a much harder beast to manufacture anyway. Yes. Um, based on for what, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> based based on what I've seen from the from the Wii U, I don't think that thing is. In, I don't think that thing's very complex, especially since the technology. Is I don't know. Pretty that, standardized. I don't. I don't know. It, it's all going to come down to the you've wireless seen, transceiver. You've seen, you've seen how small that thing is. I know. I've I've seen it. And in fact, I've held it. Yeah, we, we both held it in person. I don't. I I think I think personally, I think the gamepad is probably more complex. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Than the yeah, console. For sure. Yeah, definitely. And, sure. and, and you know, the console is I, I, a I'm, little bigger than I'm the Wii. Yeah, I'm convinced that it's doing some graphical work on its own. Maybe a little bit. A, a, a little bit, at least to offload it, because I would be really Can't surprised all wireless. if it's doing it completely wireless. Yeah. The, the the throughput would have to be pretty big. I, I, I mean, stream, streaming streaming yeah, HD video is not that awesome. hard. We we do it all the time. But this is doing something a little bit more extreme Try, trying that. to. I mean, that and, was, and it's it's got to be down to the milliseconds because of the feedback. If you're wondering what this looks like, uh, we did uh, when we went to E3. We have a, a interview with uh, the uh, trying trying to two um, director's cut, which is, or yeah, it was director's cut something like that. And that's gonna be that's the that's the Wii U edition. That was a perfect perfect um, showcase of what we're talking about yeah. here. Uh, it looked. As good, well, for the most part, it looked yeah. as good as, as the TV screen. Yeah, um, for sure. And it was, and he, it was wireless. I mean, the only thing he was tethered to was his belt, so we didn't steal the fucking yeah. thing. Oh yeah. But there was no like, and maybe a battery pack, maybe. Yeah, you just made me think of something that about the tethering. 
I remember when we, me and him went the year before. The 3 They had it. No, no, no. Oh, the no, chick, no. right? They, they had it tethered to the chick. I mean, that chick would look so light. You could have just took the pad <laughs> and her. Well, if you watch, the I don't see a downside. If you, to if it. you watch, if you, if you watch the video, there's one chick there. She's oh, sort of behind she, him, and she, she, just, she looks, uh, she's like, I don't want to be. And, and all the comments are like, Oh man, the things I do to her. <laughs> it's like, dude, she doesn't want to be here. Or, or, or the uh, or Just Dance when they're all on the stage. Man, that was pretty oh, terrible. That was, yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, but no, I, I have a feeling it's got to be doing some some offloading. Some. some. No, the, the thing or maybe that, decoding. I, I'll Who tell knows? you one thing that bothers me about the Wii U. Flat out, being that they want to make it a hardcore device, it does not have an Ethernet port. It You have yeah. to buy that stupid, <laughs> shitty USB adapter. Which is way how they make more money. Can you use the Wii's? Yes, just get. Oh, you can. You can. Okay. Yeah, but those were rare then. I know this thing uses wireless N, which I guess for basic stuff, to some extent, is what 150. I'll be MB, honest. Yes. I'll be honest. For what we're doing, it'll be fine. But if you want to do anything, if you were a video file on any level, and this thing is oh, supposed to be. Well, the thing, for what I know, I don't even think it's going to play video through streaming. Yeah, Netflix. Well. Netflix, obviously. Oh, you mean like from an external? Yeah, device. from an external device. Well, I mean, that would need. And people, people, I know people would complain about the the thirty two gig space, even from that space. Their Reggie Phil Fizame. Fizame. I always want to say Phil's Ami. Phil's Ami. Yeah, I think that's what I always call him. I think a lot of people did. Um, you can you can connect a up to three terabyte. USB hard drive via yep. USB. It has two USB in the front, two USB in the back. Yep. And, and the way I look at that is it's basically setting itself up to be homebrewed. Oh, very yeah. hardcore. Very, very hardcore. Yeah. And let's be honest, they know how hard it was done on the on the standard Wii. So. The other thing it doesn't support? GameCube games. That... I was expecting the... Yeah, I, know. I know. When they took that support out of the Wii, Unless, I mean, that, that know, was obvious. What they have to do at this point... Is make it something where you can download from yeah, the they, eShop. They said they're gonna um, GameCube games are gonna be downloadable. Oh, okay. I, I could see it happening, but I can't see it being anywhere as good as the PlayStation. You mean downloading uh, ease the of ports, use and ease work? of use, p working right? Um, I I just I think so. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't they, know. They're they're really good about that. You know that from really from a good. software perspective, Nintendo is very. They, they have very few faults when it comes to their internal development. And you can use all of the Wii accessories, so you can use... No, I, I, I know you can use all that, but still... I mean, oh, one of the... Oh, okay, one of the biggest things is you're not going to be able to use the GameCube controller on GameCube games. You can use the Classic Controller Pro, though. Yeah, and the Classic Controller someone, Pro well, is still hard enough to okay, use well, on a GameCube Well, let's put it game. this way. What this has versus the other one versus the Wii is... If it has USBs in the front, there will be USB adapters to plug yeah. in and then use. Where maybe even official. I, I mean, there's USB adapters. I doubt on the they'll Wii. be official. Maybe third party, and they'll probably be cheap ones. There, there are USB ones for, I don't the, see. for the Wii. They they've gone so far to say that they're going to rebrand um, the Wii controllers and the Wii motes and bring them out as Wii U accessories. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with a wireless, uh, a waiver for the Wii U. You know what I'd like to see? I would love that. That I would be great. I would love to see that the Wii, Wii game. So let's take... Uh, Brawl. Legend of Zelda. Well, maybe Brawl. Yeah. No, no. Let's take Legend of Zelda. Okay, Zelda. And then say, okay, well, this is emulated. We're, we're, it's backwards compatible. Yeah. But this thing's got a lot Scale more up. hardware. Yes. A lot that more would to be... use different fields. Like, the, like that'll, give, uh, that'll give Sony 100%. Look, look, look at the Vita with the PS1 games yeah. and the PSP games. Ba basically, the ba options. basically give you the Dolphin options. Yes, exactly. The scale up to 1080p. I don't want that, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, I really doubt that. Now, that te that leads me to something else. We have a lot of trouble right now recording from older consoles uh, because they're older consoles. Okay, I would I um I would be more apt to download some of these. At least uh, Super Nintendo and Sega ones. On the Wii, if it were easy to connect a controller that didn't suck, because I don't like the Wii Mote, never have. Uh, you could say, well, why don't you use the classic controller? Because I have to plug it into the Wii Mote. <laughs> and then I don't like the classic controller. Uh, 
well, also for older games, I want to. There are adapters now that you can plug Super Nintendo stuff into it. Like you can connect a Super Nintendo controller into the Wii. Okay, it's we're past that point. At this point, when it comes to the Wii U, if I can do that natively, I will buy a lot more games. Yeah. If and, and you know, what kind of pisses me off is Japan got accessories that were made off the originals. Yeah. That worked. We didn't get those. Um, so if we, if I have those options. As an emulator, as an emulator for older stuff, I would be more apt to buy these things because then I could play them there, and then for our purposes, record them for the classic capture series without loss. Yeah, it, it would, at, a, at a much higher quality. Yeah, I mean, not not where I'm trying to get the SV to fucking work and not get signal uh, degradation or fucking the audio is off or for like recording off the Genesis one. You know, uh, some games are only in mono for if I use the wrong cable. Um, there, there are a bunch of things that, you know, that are behind all that and don't want to go emulator route if I don't have to. Although, technically, the Wii U would be an emulator to some extent, but that would be the but official But it, it would be an official yes. hardware tested that they know at least works yeah, or I mean, it has some stamp of approval. And, you know, most, most reviewers on YouTube are using an emulator of some sort to get their video at this point. They're not going through the same hassle that we are. And at a certain point... It's going to be the same. I, I still believe that I have to own the game to be able to use any kind of... You have to... Well, based on the law, you have to own the game before you can play it in any other format. Uh, if it was on the Wii U, that's a completely different thing. That's digital distribution. There's a license behind that. Right. Um, you know, I don't like these people who you know, have 6,000 you know, Super Nintendo Earth games. Found. And they, they record it, but they've never, they don't own the cartridge. They never own the cartridge. They can't prove it. I don't, I don't like that at all. That that's that's wrong. That's completely wrong. And the, and you know, and that's the same people who emulate. Uh, when we did, uh, I, I had a, I wouldn't call it an argument, but there was a bunch of commenters on the Superboy um, review uh, that you know, why would you pay seventy dollars for the thing when you could get uh, emulate on the PSP? But that's just that's just wrong. At yeah, least well, at the Superboy, I'm taking the physical cartridge. I'm playing that fucking thing in, and I'm playing the game. I didn't rob anyone. Yeah, but it's just the fact that either most people are unwilling or unable to no, either find not, or not spend. Not unable. They're just cheap not unable. They're unwilling. No, I mean, no. Unwilling. Un, yeah, un, un, unable can that still is, be someone that, you know, is not working, ha, you know, doesn't have a job or anything. Or okay. a little kid who, say someone who's like 14 and has heard of this game and wants to play it, yeah. but they can't get their parents to drop that much money on such an old game. I mean, there are most people that are Most of them are available very, very easily. Most of them lawns. I'm just saying, there are some people Dude, that are unable. Get a job. The, the, the Wii U. The, the, the Wii, yourself up. The Wii, the Wii uh, Nintendo channel. The, what is the... The, the, the shop. The e shop. E -shop e the eShop. The eShop. Most of them are available there. The They're 3DS, like five bucks. Most of them are available there. You can get them. Uh, almost all of them are in a collection of some sort. Like all the Sega stuff is on the PS3 collection stuff. And that's cheap. Yeah. Dead cheap. Yeah. I'm not saying that everything or anything. I'm just saying there are some that are unattainable. Oh, I, 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 would, I agree. Most of the people who are saying that the PSP is a better emulator are the cheap asses that wouldn't do it in the first place. That, that, I know. I'm not saying that, they that they're not. Means. Those the ones you're talking about are really, really, really small percentage. You know, I, they're they're not out there. So yeah, I mean, what it comes down to is, you know, I, you need to own the physical thing. You need to have, you know, purchased the actual cartridge. I mean, I know that to some extent, let's say, you can't buy these games new. You're buying them used, but you own the cartridge. You own the physical media. Yeah. You know, you know. If I could buy Super Nintendo games new, I would, because then I have the boxes. Well, you can. You just have to pay a lot more for them. Yeah, but I mean, like from the retailer, you know, you know. If he, if he could, if he, if he could pay the, the standard MSRP, he would gladly do. It. Yes. For any, for any of these, any of these. Because yeah. yeah. it, it offsets the value with a lot of the rare ones, anyways. Yep. Oh yes, definitely. Yep. But you know. I digress. Um, there, there'll be accessories for that, hopefully, and if that's the case, then yeah. I will. We will probably move whatever we can from, you know, at least that series there, because the only thing we're having problems now, if that were the case, would be the PS2, because PS3 is dead. Well, the the 
And, and like I said, we we gotta we gotta look into that as for an official uh, fix for that. But um, one of the other things that just just on the subject of emulation that I, while well, you say that inevit inevitably it's gonna come down to it, I I would still like to stay away from it for for two reasons. Uh, those being that while emulation for say anything PS One and back, yeah, can be done relatively close it's still not the same you, no, you know, I know, I know you know I know it's I know. not um you know a, a lot of people think oh well you know ps1 obviously i can emulate that perfectly on my computer it, it doesn't oh, work I that hate, way i've seen those and i hate how they look they just yeah they, they look smooth and well, well and but stuff. besides besides that it, it it obviously can clean up the image but it wasn't intended to look like that that's one thing that i have a problem with the other thing is um People don't seem to, to understand that. For example, the PS2, I, I've had a lot of people who told me, well, I would just emulate it on my computer because I have an i7 and the graphic, da, 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 that's fine. But you actually can't really emulate it because a lot of these, like the PS2, I think, has seven different chips that control seven different aspects. It's got a CPU, it's got a GPU, it, it's got the sound chip, it's got one that controls special text and DVD layers, um, and you can't emulate those. You really can't. Uh, just because of the way it's it's set up, so you get these things that are artifacts, artifacts that are introduced into the video, the audio. You get weird delays. You get some videos that won't play at all, but then the next cutscene will play fine. And then when you get to the gameplay, it's super choppy. And formatting isn't right. Either. The formatting isn't right. Uh, the speed is off. The sync is off. It, it just it can't be done. And and everything prior to PS One can basically be done, but it's still not the same. Uh, there was there was a great article. Um, showing off the different Super Nintendo emulators and showing that the closest one is 92% perfect. 92% is the best we can do on the greatest hardware to emulate the Super Nintendo perfectly. Why? Because of the, uh, the what is it, the mode? Mode 7. Mode 7. There are 8% of the games that exist in all regions that will not play properly because of mode 7 because it can't be emulated correctly yep. and seven, uh, 8% might not sound like a lot but when you take into account that's 8% of the, all the Super Nintendo games that were released in all regions yep. that's a large percentage the, the only one that's been emulated almost perfectly is uh, or imperfectly I think is, uh, is Sega Genesis mm. they've, they've, they call it cycle cycle um, Centric or something like that. It, it basically, basically, it, it, it is one hundred percent accurate. Accurate. Uh, it, 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 the, the degree for that, I I don't know why that one over the Super Nintendo. Well, partly the Super Nintendo Mode Seven was a special feature. Uh, Sega Genesis was kind of just there was. I say there's nothing special. Blast about process. Blast process. Yes, that's the blasting is easier to. Yes. Um, no, no, I agree. I agree one hundred percent. I'm just saying, like that stuff. To get a proper, to get a proper, uh, without it looking like shit, right? In some some aspects. Well, like like I like I told you, with some of these things, we're really, you know, we're gonna come to a wall with how far we. Oh can yeah, get. no, I agree. Um, I agree. The the PS3, the 360, we have a lot more room to work with. Even the Wii U will have a lot more room to work yep. with. Um, and, and like I said, hopefully we we can figure something out uh, with that new box. Because if I if I can then get this one off of you. I could do stuff at home, yeah. you know, and we can do higher quality stuff here. Uh, but that that's a whole different story. You know, with that, we have more room to work with. I'm also running into issues where S-Video is the best outlet for yeah. the classic consoles, uh, or the ones that support it. And <laughs> that's, that's another thing. What supports it versus what doesn't. No, I know. What I'm running into that's even worse is, like, the Sega Saturn, for example, supported S-Video. Finding that cable is nearly impossible, yeah. or I'm not going to pay $200 for the cable. Yeah, stuff like that, and that forces me to stay in composite, and I'm not happy with the person. Yeah, well, we can we can look at some alternatives for that. For example, there I know that there are there are soldering, um, there are solder, soldering diagrams that you can follow to, to do that, and that might be something we you know, I I, I remember, <laughs> hey Tim, what's going on? Project number twenty. I'm not, and, and, no thanks. And I know I'm not the only one who who uh, uh, the angry video game nerd's friend Mike. Met, I can't. I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, Matei. Met, met, that the guy, guy that did the Nintendo. The yeah. Nintendo he he 
Well, no, no, the, 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 the other guy who was Oh! There. Motherfucker Mike. Mother, we'll just call him Motherfucker Mike. <laughs> He's been trying to get away from that. Yeah. Um, well, he can't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, he, he can't. He, he had his... Uh, he had his game cure. He had a game gear yeah. modification just to get the video out. Yeah, by from the guy that did, and, did the and, Minto stream. And the guy from Classic Game Room. He spent like seven hundred dollars to have his Genesis Model One have a S video output. Yeah, that is insane. And that is the kind of steps that you have to take to get even close to the video quality, where it, you don't look like you know these ten year olds who are plugging plugging. <laughs> He's going out hey, of frame. Hey, hey look, I, I, I plugged it into my TV and then I recorded it on VHS. So you mean you and you tried recording the endings to 7 and 8 hey, on a VCR. We didn't have this technology then. I, I, I took my system, connected it to a VHS, recorded it on VHS, transferred, actually, transferred it. Hey, tra you don't get that tape No, worth. hold on, hold on. Transferred it over to DVD, ripped it in handbrake, imported it into... <laughs> <laughs> to premiere, no, not even. Import it into iMovie and spin it out for YouTube. You, you know, you know how you keep quality. Instead of doing it to VC, you know, to uh, VHS, you do it to a dad tape. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. You want to shell out the money? Dad tapes aren't that expensive. Shell out the money. <laughs> Regardless, uh, older stuff is harder to record. Uh, even people have been doing it longer than us. Um, I mean, and, and even uh, let's even be honest here. We found it recently that even GameSpot is using the same box that we do for the PS3 and 3... Well, yeah, Which, PS3 you know, stuff that's been was, running... How long have we had this thing now? About two years. It, it, it's, it's been running pretty well, all things considered. It, After we, we, we learned all of its quirks. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, day one. I mean, return okay. it. Let's, let's, let's try... Let me just paint a workflow process in Windows. So... This is the Hop Hog HD PVR, not the stupid Gaming Edition 1 and not the no. Gaming Edition 2. And not the PVR 2. And not the PVR 2, nothing. This is just a standard one with a blue LED, which was initially designed to be like a, a, a wannabe TiVo box for your computer, yeah. which it doesn't do, by the way. Well, um, you have to first, you know, obviously boot into Windows, open up the application, select the video type understand the difference between the video types we use .ts if you're on the Windows side because the other format can't be converted easily or at all sometimes um, know what platform is going to record the process you have to use its internal video uh, encoder convert. converter to, to convert to a format that you can use in any other media uh, application to modify okay that's the Windows version if you want to do it on the Mac side which is better and will record at a higher bit rate. You but have it's more money. But it's more money. You have to pay thirty dollars for a special program written by some guy. Although it does support ITV, which we can also maybe yeah. look into. But still, you have to you pay. Ha for you have it. to pay for another application. You record it. it that that particular program can't. Uh, encoder sucks after uh, the video is at like six hundred megabytes, or depending on the bit rate. So you have to keep constant eye on how high the bit rate is because the bit rate. Per megabyte will either cause it to corrupt, which makes the video useless, and then you have to know how to convert it. Well, there are other programs out there for media conversion, and the only one that works is Handbrake, which is free. Yeah. And it on the Windows side, it kind of sucks. It, but kind of? Kind of. It's yeah, only like it's 10 times slower than it is on and, the Mac. And on the Mac side, you know, you forget. 400 frames a second. 400 frames a second. Windows side. And I, and I, I, did, I, I did find out that it is because it, all the, the H.264 stuff is natively built into the OS. Yes. I, on, a, on a similar spec machine that has a higher end graphics card, which you would assume it would take advantage of, but it doesn't. Nope. Uh, I get like 40 frames a second to his 400 frames yeah. a second. On the same, on the same file. So and, and and on his same machine on Windows he gets about the speeds I get yeah approximately. So after you make the conversion process, understand what bit rate you're going to use, understand what media codec, depending on what thing you're going to cut it in, depending on what OS to run. Yes. <laughs> you then open you, your editor. Then you open up your editor and, and you import. And then you import. And and, and and then then you either play the waiting game or you don't. Well, depending it, on how your 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 editor. If you're using an editor, let's say you use iMovie, which is probably the easiest one. Uh, let's yeah. just just, just yeah, be honest for the for the masses. Uh, the iMovie is going to be it. iMovie 09. No, 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 11. 11, I'm sorry, 11. iMovie 11. Although, they, they, 09 they, was yeah. the same thing, but 11 is the newest yeah. one. So, you say you use iMovie 11 as this recording. It takes, let's um, let's say, 
an hour long video to import into iMovie. And let's say my, my rig is not that old. I have a, a Core i5. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. Um, it is not. It is not the most. It's not the newest machine, but it's still a bit of a beast for the media stuff. It takes like an hour to just to import it. And this is not asking it to crop anything. This is not asking it to do any kind of encoding. This is just if you use the move button, move selection. Now, after you edit and cut it and say, okay, I've done everything, blah, 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 and you work through the quirks of iMovie itself, you go to export it, three hours. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Depending on what codec you use. And depending if your OS doesn't sh isn't shit if you don't maintain it. Because if, you know, when it comes to OS X, it's great and fast, but if you don't run, like, Onyx and clean out, you know, run the maintenance scripts and clean everything out that gets stored because... OS X is like Android in that way, it doesn't dump shit, then everything's going to be slower, and then if you're using stuff, if you're on Skype, or you're using web browser, if you're using Memory Hog Safari, whatever the case may be, then you're just going to make the process longer. And that stuff's going to run like shit on top of it. And, and that's how we did it for about 800 videos. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and, and then I had the idea of maybe trying Premiere. So... <laughs> But even then, in, it's, it's, it's still it's a long process to get these things to work, to get that stuff. And that's not including, for the classic capture series, the audio dubbing, the, the audio dubbing, uh, recording, uh, trying to make it not look like crap, especially older system yeah. stuff, because it, it always records, at, uh, like, the, the luminance is too high, so you have to drop it down, but not kill it, so it looks like you, you have a... Like a weird texturing on top of the on top of the sprites and stuff. It, it's it's a big old complicated process just to do one video. Now it's easier on the PS3 when we do PS1 games. I do the recording. I have to do no video editing whatsoever because it comes in at a normal bitrate. It comes in cleanly. It comes in 16 by 9 in 720p format. I mean, you know, 12. 12 Obviously, ways. then you crop it down to 480. Yeah. You know. What it comes down to is that is easy to do because that comes through natively. But any other way for any console that doesn't come in through component or HDMI at this point is a pain in the ass. Yep. There's a lot of work involved, and you know it's and all these people who do it. You know, uh, I was watching I was watching Angry, Angry Video Game Nick. Mm -hmm. His workflow process is even more complicated mm -hmm. because he doesn't record it directly to the machine and let the machine do the encoding. He burn he has a DVD burner, a physical DVD burner that records the gameplay, burns it to a disc in the DVD player yeah. attached to the TV. Then he rips it. Then he decodes it. Then he does the editing and does everything else. So his process is even more difficult. And theoretically lower quality because of the fact that... For, for some of it, like the yeah. NES stuff. Um, so, you know, man, I can go on and on. That, that go, it would take an hour to explain every single bit that I've ever run into. And that's not including OS quirks, hardware failure... Marco video failures. failures, Marco failure. Hey, fuck you! Multiple was one time thing. When was the? When did you? When did you pause for fifteen minutes? Oh, I gotta go through this whole video. <laughs> hey, I know where. Now, do I do a blend here? No, I better not do a blend here because it cuts out this important part. No, I think the best one is. Hey, let's update the driver. Oh yeah, that's, hey, that's no. Thing. Let's not go back to that. <laughs> that would go back to. Oh well, maybe even device failure. Do some of the devices they just they don't play nice. Yeah. It is hard. Man, we're going on a tangent here. Yeah. yeah, I say we get to the Tokyo Game Show. <laughs> that is another tangent. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, no. No. It, it, no. Uh, what, did, what did the tech support for Hophog tell you about... Uh... Okay, the uh, Hophog has composite S-video in. Okay? I tried America. <laughs> we'll get to hey, that. We, we have a lot of UK guys as well. well they're in, in the United Kingdom. I tried World. Good night, Mike. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> the UK... I <laughs> Timmy's face probably so uh, I work with Australians for the most part. I like how you said Australians, but before you said UK, and then you say good day, mate. <laughs> and that's a konnichiwa. Yeah, I know. I don't. It's a joke. Look, if they don't get it, they're not going to listen to this anyway. Who is listening at There's this point Rick. still? Rick. <laughs> Rick, god just, damn you. Just but, Rick. Wait. but he's not going to get what I'm talking about. That's Because he's five. Sorry, Rick. You are. You're fine. Marco barely seen, gets it. You have baby face. All right. Anyway. <laughs> and um, so the Hophog HD PBR has composite in the front with S-Video. On the Windows side, it doesn't record for jack shit. 
it will sometimes record with Windows Media Center after a lot of tweaking. On the Mac side, it will only record two devices, the PS2 and the Dreamcast. I guess you could do it with the PS3, but I, I, why would I do that? Have you tried the 64? Yeah, it doesn't work. They're, they do not have enough throughput, and it's not consistent signal. So they fail. And Hopog told me, well, and, and, okay, well, I'll get to what their first thing, because most people who bought this device and heard about that wanted to record their VCR home videos. Yeah. And Hopog says, the sig well, all those things, signals is inconsistent and won't pick these things up. I know to some extent it's hardware, but it also the software doesn't know how to handle lower bit rates on the Windows side. On the Mac side, I can record Dreamcast and PS2 pretty flawlessly. There are some issues, but I can record it from this device. Windows side won't work for shit. Period. So, it's they put they put these inputs on the front, and I can only use it for two devices because I figured out a workaround. Anybody who doesn't have the patience I've had and the hours and hours of attempts that I've tried will not know this. And if you go on Amazon's, and let's use Amazon as an example. If you go on Amazon and go to read the comments, all you hear is it doesn't work. They rip me off. Don't buy it. Yep. Now it's great for com uh, component, like I said. Uh, if you use the Mac version, Mac side, because the Mac side you can convert it to an easy format, and this thing will record up to 13 megabit. Um, in 13 is not the highest bit rate, but it's good enough for YouTube. It's yep. good enough for web video. You go into the 20, 30 range. You're not. People are not streaming that. No, almost no one has that bandwidth. Maybe, maybe in Korea. <laughs> But not here in the states. That's uh, that's uh, like a medium Blu-ray quality. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you know, it's good for that stuff. It's good for personal consumption on that level, and we use it. And, and like I said, games, games, uh, GameSpot uses it for their PS3 recording. Uh, that blew my mind because I thought, man, they must have like the thing I've always heard about is the Black Magic uh, intensity. intensity or the or the internal card, and that requires. I mean, that thing can record at the bit rates I'm talking about, 20, 30, to 50. With the With right. the proper hardware. And you basically are building a, another media machine. The same way that Pro Tools requires a goddamn Mac Pro um, with all the hardware and everything configured specifically to it to get a proper, you know, uh, recording. No, Pro Tools, you just <clears throat> got to know your limitations. Yeah, that means Mac Pro with, you know, two six-core processors. No, I mean, my, Mac, my MacBook RAM. can do it fine. It's just I can't go over, like, six tracks and maybe well, five it, plugins. The way I record to me, <laughs> I need to... Yeah, because you layer 24 tracks for the same guitar. But it's a guitar Look, orchestra. But it's so... It's the only <laughs> way it's an orchestra is the amount of reverb you throw in there. No, I didn't use that tasteful. much reverb. <clears throat> chorus and reverb are almost the same thing. No, they're not the same thing. How, I that, said almost. That's why you have 25,000 pedals and you don't know what each one of them does. I do know what each one of them does, and most of them are distortion oh, this pedals. This is a fuzz tone, this is fuzz tone, this, this is fuzz tone, this is fuzz tone. I don't even have a fuzz. This one makes it sound green. <laughs> this is one for what a blue. <laughs> well, cause, c c coming from you know, the one who has to have a morpher for every part of his body. Yes, what? every part. He, he's, but he's, he's, he's got a cubic of bed bow. When they have the sale during Thanksgiving, so he gets a wine for every mega suit. For cheap. <laughs> Man, okay, I have no room to talk because I know I'm probably going to camp out for more for next year, so. Um, probably? Yeah, probably. The only thing I want uh, going to that, going to that, uh, is I only thing I would want is that metal, the metal mega suit. The metal mega suit. Only because it's metal. Yeah. There's something about that I, it appeals to me. Yeah. And that was what I grew up with. Die After that, it's like mm, no. it's pretty tall too. Yeah, no, I know. But, but yeah. see, the good one they're not making in metal, or at least not yet. Which one? Which the one? Dragon Sword. Oh, that they do that. Well, the way they, they, during the panels, they pretty much said that they they can't go further unless it sells. Yeah, that's basically what it comes down. Yeah, to. yeah. I bet if they release that instead of the original, I bet that would sell more. And and, and Marco keeps up with all this stuff, and yep. I know the guy. The original guy who did the original recordings for the songs, what's his name? Uh, Ron Wasserman. Tell him I don't like what he's done with it. There are demos. I know. I'm just saying. Currently, currently, I do not like the guitar track. I I, I was amazed at how he could still hit the harmonies. Oh yeah, vocally he did it right. Yeah. Although it was super cheesy still. Well, 
uh, he's like 50 years old and no, he can no, still no, hit the no, harmonies. That's, that's, that's impressive. No, but I mean, it's the a amount of cheese. A television that, show. The amount of cheese that was coming out of it. It was like it was a cheese grater. <laughs> yes. I still got to show you his setup. I think it looks pretty cool. My God. You know what? Are you going to get on that? Yes. I had a dream, by the way. This is this is even going back to another show. Uh, this Buckhead show. I had a dream that, that that stupid DJ was on stage again doing his shitty set. Yeah. And I was just thinking, I, want, I came up to him and I go, look, you obviously have no friends because nobody has come up and told you, look, dude, you have no talent. <laughs> If you're a Buckhead fan, if you saw any Buckethead shows in California and you were subjected to that mess, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if you don't live in the United States, if or, you, get on that or if you don't know and if you're in Japan, is, I'll train you. Uh, or if you don't but know only for is, a month or two. Well, then I want to come back. They have Pepsi over there, so I don't know. I'd last longer. Uh, a year. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah we Tokyo just, Game Show. Tokyo Game Show. So new PS3, not no surprises. Yeah, we had called that a while ago. In fact, cheap price, I'm, not by much. I'm still conflicted on whether I like the way it looks or not. I don't really. Like I want to see it open. I still haven't seen it open. Yeah. Like physically, a video of it opening. Yeah. I don't know if it slides, if it pushes up, if you. I, it probably it probably <gasps> does like a click slide. Yeah. It, it looks like it would. It has to be. Yeah. I doubt that it would have a, a, a click to unlock and then... It has a it has an eject button on the front. That's why I don't it, know... It, it's a slide. It's a slide. They've said it's a slide. But yeah, but if the button... If, if there's a, a button slide, on the front, then it's got to be a powered slide, right? Maybe just to unlock it. I don't I don't fucking know, but okay. still, I want to see a video. That, that's yeah, what it comes down to. It's a corrugated roof that's, on top of a PS3. Yeah, that's one thing that they didn't show that really bothered me. Um... As for, I don't know if you've heard this, a lot of people are bitching why they bring it out. Um, a lot of people are bothered by it's it. Cheaper manufacturing That's costs. exactly why. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't get how they don't understand that. It's smaller, it's cheaper, therefore it's cheaper for them to make. And if it's smaller, they can ship more for a cheaper cost. And this will be the final iteration. Yeah. That don't think all, all, I know, all I know is I hope they bring the white one here. I want that one. Yeah, they, they said they will. The but it's, gen, coming, out, the it's coming out in, uh, a month after. So the Sega Genesis had three official iterations. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they were comparing it to the PS2, which only had two. But really, it didn't. It had more than two. It had yeah. way more than yeah, three, the, even. The, the, the it had, had uh, like, models. four four multiple... Well, even the PS1 had multiple models. And I'm not even talking about the, the shrunk-down one. I'm talking about the original gray... Gray, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I remember I had four in my closet at one time that I was trying to Frankenstein together, and each one was a different model. I couldn't use any of the Yeah, parts. but I'm just saying people don't remember that shit, and they're like, oh, why, why three? And I'm like, three is three isn't insane. When you have four okay. slim models that are the same. Okay. If, if anyone ever tells you that again, go, DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good point. Or even... The Apple. Yeah. <laughs> How many iPod Dungeons are we at now? Yeah, iPod but that's dungeons? because Apple's almost taking the route of cars where they need to have a yearly update yeah. for every model. The, the 2011, well, the 2012, the 2013. That's kind of, well, to some extent, it's the same thing. They're, they're, they're doing it also. Yeah, but they're they're doing it less less to make it a yearly model, more to cut costs. So, yeah. I get it. I don't think it looks that bad, but I really do want to see it in action. I'm curious. Personally, um, I don't, it, I mean, I, I, I'm unlikely I'll ever own one. Right, right, right. I'm not. I'm no, not I, saying. I'm I, not saying I will, but I, I'm curious. I'm really curious to see how it opens. I really, I really like the first one. Yeah, I, I still think the first one looks better than, than any of them. I like the Spider-Man font. I like the gloss, the chrome. No, I mean, you, even I'm, I'm, well, I meant first, first slim. I mean, I've well, even size. Model. I mean, I like that it was a system that didn't need a stand. Okay. It had one. Don't know why, but well, still, people like, are clumsy. Oh, I'm curious. You need to be really fucking clumsy to knock one of those over. Well, if you have children, yeah. even then, I mean, the base stand for it wasn't didn't widen it you never, much you, more. You haven't been, you haven't been, you haven't collided with a child who's running. He doesn't. Count. I run into Mark all the time. He doesn't count. So other than that, uh, the one that was interesting is they're releasing the Flash model that has the. The uh, twelve was it twelve or thirteen? Twelve gigs to twelve gigs, to and then and then it's um, to Europe. Yeah, I know, but still. And then it, it'll it'll probably come out here. I doubt it. And it'll it, the only thing yeah, people I, were, I people, were little, so. people were getting upset with was that the, the twelve gigs get disabled it, if you put, put a hard drive in it. 
Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't read about that. And, yeah. But you know what, also? If they did release a 12 gig one here, it would have to be way less than the regular one. Well, yeah. yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't. Substantially less. There was a 4 gig Xbox 360. Yeah, but that one flashed. It still had a drive. Didn't it? No, no, no that's flash. That, still had all, a flash. that was onboard flash. I thought it had the drive. No, and then oh. th that added on top of it, but the way the PS3 partitions, it's part of the reason. Yeah, well, still, 12 gigs is too little. Um, and it would have to be a substantial drop. It would have to be at least, you know, competing with 229 uh, yeah. versus I 250 for the first the first model that was 150 gig. Um, then it would have to be 150. I no, would 250. It's 250 gig, I'm sorry. Because it, it's 250 gig, and then it's 500 for the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how much is the 12 right now? 229. Which is fifty bucks cheaper? No, no Se seventy bucks cheaper? No, two twenty nine, and then the two fifty is two fifty. Two fifty for two fifty. So twenty bucks less for twelve gigs. Yeah. It's got to be at least one hundred and seventy then for me to pay that. Oh, well, I know. At least, but besides <sighs> the hard drive is not the most expensive component. It would be nice if they supported. Well, they do support it, you know, but. The fact that you have to go as far as actually supporting a, a USB hard drive is kind of annoying. Well, we're going to have to do that with the Wii U. Obviously, That's I know. That's Nintendo's philosophy. I, I know, but 32 gigs versus 12 gigs is a lot more. Well, no, not not really. I mean, it is a little bit, but not not really. I mean, the, the first what the, the, the first model PS3s was a 60 and a 20 gig, right? Yeah. 20 gig model is not that much more than 12 gig, in all honesty. Yeah. I'm just saying for for the price, twenty bucks cheaper for. Oh, I know. Two, that, 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 I think it's, if, you, if you're paying less because of that, you're cheap ass. That 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 that's yeah. that's what it comes down to. For less than a fifth, uh, yeah, five uh, five percent of total. Yeah, sounds about right. That's bullshit. <laughs> so yeah, well, I I know I, I I that's why I'm happy it's only going to Europe. I, if that, it came that's here, not, that's not what I saw. I saw it's going to be coming here. Europe. You it, said Europe only. It might. It it might still come here. I I don't think so. I because they had the price sell. chart uh, uh, during that for yeah, the U.S. Yeah, as well. I, I know, but they said after that that was like supposedly a typo or something because it's not coming to the U.S. I don't know. I think if it came to the U.S., it wouldn't sell. I, I don't really think so. Either. I don't think so. It's too much. People would go with the the Xbox, but um. Yeah, so DGS, they had that. They had a new Metal Gear uh, Rising trailer. Vengeance trailer. That was pretty good. Yes, uh, that was, was good. good. Uh, although we've been hearing reports that the uh, controls, controls are, are kind of... Uh, yeah. But still, it, lo it looks interesting enough. Where we, I'm, I definitely want to play We didn't play, play it at E3 because I wanted, Giant to, I wanted to see stuff, yeah. not just... St what, but and we were only like. there for one day because of one <clears> reason. So. Yep. But what else... Uh, a uh, bunch of Vita games, a bunch of RPGs, most of them probably not coming to the States. They showed some more of uh, Inufune's uh, Soul No Sacrifice. Monster Hunter, but Monster Hunter 3 Clones. on the Wii U. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That's another thing that we forgot. Ultimate Monster Hunter 3. Ultimate Monster Hunter 3 on the Wii U. And it U. will interact with the 3DS version. Yeah, that's... that's Nintendo's, you know, like they said, it's something that they don't need, but it's something that they're taking advantage of. They don't need the game, but they're certainly making sure that they have it. Um, that's a, that's the kind of reason. To have a, it. a lot of Monster Hunter clones on the Vita, though. <clears throat> Soul Sacrifice is namely the best one of those I've seen. Yeah. Um, there was something else I saw. It was kind of boring, I'll be honest. Yep. Uh, I will say and that everything was real rushed. Jap it was real Jap Japanese press conference. They do not fuck around. It's yeah. like you see this game. All right, you saw the game. All right, let's have about this next thing. You see this game? All right, you saw that game. You see this game? You want this game? Fuck you! You can't have this game. Check out this game. <laughs> it was. It was. We, we were watching a stream on uh, Nico Nico. Yeah. So ne Jap Nico Nico. Ne Nico Nico. Whatever. The Japanese streaming service. Um, because I'm sure most of you are probably watching Kotaku's live blog. The funny thing is, all the all the kanji people were typing in the chat kept scrolling across the screen, so it was. I turned it off. I I was trying to figure it out, but I didn't want there's, to there's interrupt the screen. Ah, oh, okay. I was I didn't want to interrupt the stream. Yeah. <laughs> that was annoying. People were pressing eight and like eight, and I knew there was a sequel to something important because all of a sudden you see three question mark, three question mark. It's just just fill the screen with <laughs> or two question mark. Um, yeah, they don't fuck around there. And then the 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 CEO, the Sony. I don't I don't know what his official position is, but white guy, man, 
better Japanese than yeah. some of the Japanese there. I was like, man, dude, I don't speak the language, but I can tell. I, I'm impressed. Man, you were... They they have to respect you. You got your shit down. You you, you go and you get some some tokoyaki. You know what you're talking about. Oh, takoyaki. I'm not even gonna try and fix that. <laughs> what? Did I say it wrong? Is it uh, he didn't say anything. He didn't say like anything. Like he didn't say like the n word. No. Is it? Is it that like a fish treat? Yeah, no, it's food, but you're yeah. pronouncing it wrong. Takoyaki. Well, fucking Moving. correct it! I am not gonna try. Oh, then stop being a bitch about it. Can we Keep going. <laughs> the only thing I know. <laughs> Why is it we always go to Japanese when Timmy steps out? <laughs> you know it's true. If you're, if you're all the common writer you, and, and, and Super Sentai, you learn more by this point. I, I thought I was seeing he it right. He barely speaks English. That's true. Barely really speaks Spanish from what I can tell as well. Yeah, Bullshit. seriously. <laughs> it's like, hey, Marco, what's this word? Uh, I, I, I think it's this. No, no, it's this. Oh, no. Hey, some of those words are hard. So watered down. Considering that's what the language he was so brought how, up How in. do you water down water? Uh, with more water? Oh, steam? Yes. <sighs> uh, yeah, Tokyo Game Show was kind of boring. You're right. Yeah. Uh, Tokyo so Game Soul Show. Sacrifice is the most interesting thing. That, I think, that I, I think that was confirmed that that's coming out here, too. Uh, a bunch of sequels, yeah, a bunch of games that never came out here. Or were obscure, because I was looking them up as they were coming around. Um, you know, coming up for the Vita. Um, they show the same uh, Black Ops. Black Ops too. I thought that was same cool. trailer. It's it's like yeah, the, you guys are trying to to appeal to someone that to a to a market that I don't think likes it as much as no no one here. Um, Ace Attorney Five for you, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm actually starting starting to get more interested in the Professor Layton crossover too. No, I want the Nam- Namco Cross Capcom. Yeah. Uh, that, what is it called? That's 3DS. The Namco uh, Cross Capcom. No, it has no. something 16 in the title, I think. That's not what I've been seeing lately. I've seen something oh, lately. No, was, there was something on... Uh, is that the one with like a whole bunch of different characters? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. It's, they haven't it's, even confirmed it's coming here yet. It will. I'm sure it will. I don't no, think they're, it will. If they're, Tatsunoko they're, came here, I'm they're saying they're sure having, they No, this has a lot of stuff that wasn't licensed here. Tatsuno, it's a not lot just of the two that you said. It's also um, Sega. It's also got Sega, Sega and there's it's, the, uh, two others. Damn it! It's I knew the name. I looked it up the other no, day. No, it's, Nam- it's Namco Cross Capcom because there's also a PS2. No, one they did. That no, they, they, they renamed it. I know they renamed it. Oh, it, it but there, it, there's I, a PS2 one that also is. They Namco renamed it, but I'm sure Capcom. it will come here. And that one had know. like that one. Had I'm sure it'll come here because it'll sell. I don't think so. I don't even think it'll be edited. I want that one. Cause it would it, be easy to localize Because even the Tatsunoko one, some of those characters are really obscure here yeah. or never came here. And they still brought that here. So I I believe it will get released here. It's going to bother me until I remember what's called. It's cross something. I remember it having like 16 in the title. You can look it up. You can look it up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, t- yeah, t- Tokyo Game Show, there hasn't been too much... Uh, people are saying that the Lost Planet, that one that you were wanting, yeah, they're that's saying it's so so. so, so. Eh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I might get that. I might not. Visually, uh, it looked okay. It looks it looks interesting visually. I think. Uh, so I think I kind of want to roll back to the Wii U real quick. Uh, the stuff that I, that I was thinking about, the stuff that bothers me more than anything. So the Wii U is supposed to be an HD console. HD is a relative term, I think, at this point. Um, it basically they've caught up to what we expect for. Project Cross Zone. Oh, is it? That's Project what it's Cross called. Okay. My my thing is, there's three franchises that the Wii U needs to touch on because we haven't seen jack shit. Star Fox. Star Fox. Metroid, a proper Metroid. Yep. And Earthbound. I think the guy already said Earthbound. He won't do. It. He no, he 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 wants to do it. Oh, but that. I don't think there's the market for it anymore. That bullshit. That's total bullshit. You know why? Because Ness is in in the game in in. He's in Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers, but people. so is Lucas. Yeah, what I'm saying is, if they make a proper Earthbound with both of them, just say both of them, 
for the Nintendo. There is a big enough Nintendo fan base uh, in all regions. You, yeah, dude. The, well, the, Earth, the Earthbound fan base is pretty fucking big. It was so big that, in fact, they sent a manifest um, with a whole bunch of signatures to Nintendo. To and, and, like, two weeks later, they they, uh, they put up a, a, a commercial for Mother 3. Which was released which as... Which nobody had, they had even known was in existence. It was Game Boy Advance game released in Japan only, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I, I know he gave a couple reasons why it won't For, for me personally, Star Fox. There was GameCube Star two GameCube Star Fox, both of them sucked. Assault was better than the, the, the dinosaur Adventure. one. But even Assault was pretty bad. Metroid had that really crappy Metroid Fusion game, which was made by Team Ninja. In future, not Fusion. Uh, uh, Metroid... I don't remember the name. I didn't like it. It was it was like a another end. Yeah, that's the go. one. I think it was terrible. It, it was you know why it was terrible mostly was the controls that were pretty terrible. Yeah, the, the and it, it, it did the the weird the weird crossing of yeah. of the, uh, the y weird. plane a yeah. lot too. That made it real weird because it's supposed to be a side scroller or a first person shooter. There's and, no in between. And they made Samus a whiny bitch. And they, they gave her a voice. Yeah, that's that I think the problem. worst problem. <coughs> so we need to go back to Metroidvania style thing, um, kinda. Yeah, Metroidvania. Yeah, I'm about to say even with some. I like the fact that you could go from first person or third person. That was cool, but they should have kept it on a two D plane. Now the uh, the other thing is when they eventually make Zelda, which is obviously going to happen. Yeah. It, they need to change the formula. They need to change the formula. I'm tired of Ocarina reiteration. I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, dude. I know it's not going to happen. <laughs> they haven't changed their formula for really anything. Yes, they, 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 for what? I, I would say Wind Waker is a, it was a departure. Okay, enough would, of a departure. Enough of a departure, but ultimately, same formula. And then again, Wind Waker is pretty much. Um, and Wind Waker, everyone hated initially because they were like, how dare you oh, go no. to sell shading, I blah, know, blah, blah. We want a real, you know, they wanted the one that they had originally shown in the GameCube tech demo. Yeah, no. And know. then it finally comes out and everyone hates it. Yeah, I, I wanted the tech demo because that looked awesome. The tech demo for the Wii U looked fucking insane. Yeah. If then, from what they've I, said, I like that. it is actually going to be based on that, so. Visually, okay, that's... I don't know. It's a tired formula. It's a tired formula, but well, they know it's in, one in that, that works. Sense, it, well, I mean, yeah, I agree. It's not going to change. I'm tired of the vi you know the same similar visuals in every Zelda game. The same, almost same fucking story in every game. Oh, well, it's supposed to be the same story because it's supposed to be the same. I know, but it's like how many times can you tell the same damn story? I mean, it just... I don't know, I mean... Pokemon to some degree is that, too. Yeah, no, I, I, I would that's agree. Why, that's they, why I can't play the new one. I, 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 honestly, I, I, honestly, I, I agree. Honestly, if anything needs... I, personally, if anything needs a big change in Pokemon, no. I'll be honest, yes. Well, no, I, I wouldn't... I'm, a not, dis I'm not disagreeing. Version a proper console version that, would, would... That is a... True adventure. No, game. multiplayer. Multiplayer, yeah, MMO. Almost like MMO. It doesn't have to be exactly MMO, but... Well, yeah, it would have to. Well, an MMO would actually be perfect like, for that. You know what? That, you know what? Would Maybe not massive, no, no, no. but no, massive turn, would be no, perfect. No, no, no. You know would I mean, fit? that would be something awesome. No, you know what would I don't fit? see how they no, could no, no, do no, no, it, no, no, no. but you know what would fit the same multiplayer system that Journey had. I like that. Yeah, you that word it to random. Yeah, because that would massive. They, they drop it in and out as different parts of the map. Okay, I imagine, imagine if they had no limits on a server. And it would turn into fucking Just Cause 2 multiplayer. There would be too many people, yeah. and they would all fucking gather at the same hotspots, and then you have no they'd people. All hitting, and, and, they'd all be hitting on Virtual Nurse Joy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and getting in trouble with Virtual uh, Officer Jenny. <laughs> or they'd, they'd all be trying to catch missing those. No, <laughs> Just everyone surfing up and down that goddamn coast. The, the way, think of it this way, because you didn't play Jerry. No, but I've seen enough video Wait, on but it. But they... People come in and out. So say you're in a map, you're, you're going through Route 5000, whatever I know, it is. But, but for, for what that is in Pokemon, 
That's just matchmaking. No, it's, no, it's because persistent you're, environment. Yeah, you're walking on, and you have to go up to them and, and press the challenge button in order to challenge them. Okay, and what I, about a duel and an MMO is any different from that? Because an MMO, you would have no real... They, they have to challenge you every time, no matter what. The system's and it would have too that. many people. The, you, have to limit, you have to limit how many people are on a server at any given time. They're, Otherwise, you have too many people. As If it was an MMO, that's built to be an MMO. This would be more like... And this is the idea of it being... While, like having challenges with people who are random. They appear on your game, although you appear on their game at the same time. And this could be more than one. But let's just say one. You're going through Route 50,000. And then you're coming through, and all of a sudden, this other person joins the game anonymously. You don't know that they've connected. And they are coming down the road that yeah. you're going up on. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're meeting a complete yeah. stranger. You you're don't like, know what they oh, have. Oh, fuck! Stand up! And then you challenge them. They have yeah. to accept it, obviously. Again, that's basically random matchmaking. No, it, no it's, it's a world it's, thing. It that, may, no, I, I get what you mean. You know, that's whoever's in that though. part of the world, it is though. Because then you can have somebody else come in, and then they could, while you're battling, just press something, or they don't even have to. If this was done correctly in a 3D environment, it would be done real time. Someone could just come and watch, not interfere. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. It would be like, oh, you're coming up. Are you a trainer? Yes, I'm a trainer. Ah, throw it. Yeah. Okay, okay, but, but then, then again, in. the way it, the way you're doing it is like, you know. You're still in it, like that environment because if you're saying, "Oh, well, someone can walk up and watch," that, that's going back to limiting people on a server. No, but they come in and out, and you're constantly being introduced to strangers. You're constantly encountering people. I know, but randomly. if you're trying to do that in an entire world, how do you really do that? You you set and up se doesn't. no you set yeah you set up sections and servers, and you you say there are 500 instances of Pallet Town, 500 instances of Cinnabar Island. And every time you cross over, it's connecting you to a different random server where there are X number of people, and you just, as they keep crossing, it's mixing them up, so you never see the same people. So it's basically the same fucking thing as an MMO. No, just no, MMO because MMO, you have the same persistent people you're going to keep seeing. On the them, same persistent server. On the same persistent server. And all the game, all the gameplay mechanics. But I don't are see based the problem that. with that either. Because you will go do your story stuff on your own. You you really want to battle the same asshole ten times in a row, especially when he can kick your ass on a server with five hundred people. You don't have to f fight the same person that, that many times. If you've ever played it, an MMO long yeah. enough, you usually see the same faces on the same server. I was starting to recognize people. It's like, oh, it's this hey, guy. Yeah. How's your day? Oh, PV, <laughs> PvP. When oh, we were yeah. playing PvP on Star Wars, I was like, oh, okay, it's but, this asshole. But, but, I, here, I hate this guy. Here, He's going to try doing that here's one Here's the shit. thing, though. Like, and P there are people like this because I'm one of those people. I didn't like the PvP. So I know when I went you to the can, PvP, turn, I would see the normal people can, that like playing PvP. Turn, you can turn it up. It doesn't have to be on. Uh, Pokemon would be PvP almost all the time, though. That's, that's the, the whole thing. Then, that's, that's, that's the, the whole. But that's the thing. The whole basis of Pokemon is the player versus player. That's the no, whole the point part, of the, the game. The part I like. What I'm saying about Star Wars is the little challenge things. Yeah. I didn't care for those. Not everyone cared for them. Yeah, but you ended up seeing the same people. You yeah. But that's because those are the people who like playing no, that. No, but you're not if you understanding did... to me. Okay. No, I understand. It, no, 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 it's no, no, just no. You're, you're, you're trying to make it to, you know, tailored to this, it but is, it, it, it's in, not an in, MMO. in the grand space. You would be saying the journey is an MMO in that regard as well. Even though you're it, not fighting each other, you're in a server and then it's an MMO because But see, following. journey a little bit is because you can only have two people at any given time. No, no, no. You could have up to six, seven, eight people. It just depends where you are co consistently on, on the server. My, my idea is you're walking through the world and there's just total stranger out of nowhere. And because the whole idea of Pokemon in the show and the way the idea is that all of a sudden this other trainer comes up and because you have this want to battle, you challenge them. You don't have to because you can say, no, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm doing X quest, yeah, or I'm trying to catch X Pokemon. Sorry, I declined your battle. And, okay, yeah, and you if, can do even, the same thing in an MMO. Even if you say it's an MMO, even if you, even if we take that because it's wrong, but even if we were to go that way, what's wrong with that? Because you could turn it off and well, then be I, a single I'm, player game. With that. I'm not saying no. I'm saying as an MMO, it would be great. You're saying you're trying to put this like limited. You're basically trying to do a limited MMO. Yes, that's the idea, because you don't know the person, and then once you know the person, or once you've battled them, you know what they have. The thing is, is if you're on they... a server with people, when you walk up to someone, you don't know them anyway. 
you can there in any MMO you can see what gear they have. You can tell what's by looking at them. What's to say you don't just don't offer that feature? You, that's a limited MMO. That still goes that, with yeah, what I'm talking about. You would no, but I want just someone to have a goddamn Pokemon hat, six Pokeballs, and that's yeah. all you know about yeah. them, and male and female. Yeah. That's it. You can't tell that if they're wearing blue, oh, yeah. I'm a water type. Yeah. Or I, I'm red, I, I like I'm a fire idea. type. Yeah. You just, they're wearing regular clothes. I, or customize, you know, it yeah. doesn't matter. You can customize it. You can fucking put, 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 put Spiky here. Ah, oh, this motherfucker's got lightning Pokemon. <laughs> but that's, but that, that's the thing. Why go through all that trouble if that's all you're doing? Is that just make a story mode that you can do, and then take your, you know, out of the story mode, just take a versus multiplayer, no. like Coliseum. No, I like... That, that's it. No, no, I like the idea of it being persistent. Yeah. And I like that it being persistent, and then I can do the story at the same time. I like the idea if I go to a gym battle, someone else is battling... They're battling gym, and then I can watch them yeah, say, maybe, like, I, oh. maybe I should okay, do but something here's, different. Okay, well then here's the thing. If you're there and you have how whatever, how many players are there, what if there's a queue and you have to wait for each of those people before you? There's ways no, to get around no, that. No, there's ways to get around that. If, okay, you could set it up where you can queue, or you can go directly and once you battle them, their instance would take it, because it's like a world boss. You can either have it where... Once he's beaten, he'll respond at X time, or you could just go up to him and fight him anyways that, while they're doing. That would be like you can't talk to an NPC in any game. Yeah, because someone else. Is talking here's, to here's the thing: if you're saying, "Oh, well, it'd be cool to be able to watch the other player fight," but then you know, be able to go into it at any time. Yeah. That uh, it, I, I get where he's going with that. That would be tricky. It's like you want to be able to watch it. But then better, you want to be able to fight better, 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 right away. An, an easier, easier way to do that is rather than animate the battle then and there, you have six players surrounding the guy, and each one of them that is in a battle instance has some sort of icon over their head. And you can click and say, I want to watch this guy battle. You right-click on him, watch battle, brings up the animation. Okay, I, I you know what? I'm tired of this. I, I, I think I know how to beat this guy. Close it out. Go over, walk, talk to the guy. Now you're in a battle instance. And someone can come and watch your battle. That would be the best way to do it. That would be one way to do it. I would be. I would yeah, that. but then again, also that takes a lot of the challenge out. Say you're coming up to a boss you know nothing about. The boss, if, the boss if can randomize. Kicks, if he kicks your ass, okay. The two two things. But the, the the problem is, is the way the Pokemon types work. You really can't randomize it that much. Yeah, you can't. You're you're so limited by type. If you go up to this guy, you don't know what it is. Say it's a okay. new gym leader. You don't know what type he is. But you can see him beforehand by watching someone. You know, okay, I'll just get a team of this. Well, uh, unfortunately, it's set up where you can do that anyways. Yeah. I'll be honest. If you no, know, but if, no. The thing is, is you know what their type is. No, well, let's put this one. Okay, that's if, not, that, if that's you not fight fair, him the we... first time, if you fight him the first time and he kicks your ass on the last Pokemon, you know what his team is anyway. You know what order he's going to send it out in anyways. You say, okay, the problem I made was I didn't send out my Chikorita at, at the second Pokemon. No, I know that, but you already have the pre-strategy of, I know this guy is fire, so... I gotta have water. Well, you, you, you see, your arguments are valid already because you talk to the motherfucker, your your uh, so-called dad, according yeah. to uh, certain sources. Yeah. He tells you, oh, this is Brock. He uses rock types, so you need to use water types. Yeah. He tells you... The guy in the front tells you exactly... you even fight him. Yeah. No, so the I, way I see it is there are how many, there are how many different types of um, Pokemon in, in, in that... In the, uh, uh, of that type, right? There, let's say there's like 300 different rock types. You can make it where at least the first five are a pre-formatted rock type or, or, or mixture. They might have something that complements it. I know, but the thing and is, then my, point, my, my point was is that he was like saying, oh, well, this is, you know, if you watch someone that, um, if you watch someone else's battle, then you can figure out how to beat them. My thing was is you already know going in. Oh, well, no, see, that's where the randomization would work. The randomization can work, but there's still the types. So you, you, but I already told you that that's invalid just based on the fact that the guy in the front tells you this guy uses rock types. You better use water. No, that's what I'm getting at, though. You that they have a type, so you can have ten different rock Pokemon. They're still weak against one element. And then, well, not exactly because there's so many sub elements. Now. What if he uses what's the snow one, the the elephant one? That's rock uh, snow, right? Yeah. So those double elements come into play as well. He would just have. He would have. A Nintendo. Nintendo. We really. What we're getting at is we really want something in three D. <laughs> you know, Nintendo. What's getting at is I will no, design the game for you. I do. I want it in three D. 
three dimensional? Yeah. I thought the Wii version didn't no, look see, that bad. I would, like, I would like it to be top no, down. No, see, see, when he said 3D, I thought 3D. Oh, oh I no. Would, I would like it to be top down like it is, and then when it goes in the battle, the camera pans to a. Um, no, I, I would I, like it I like full how the, on. I like how the Coliseum one works. The Coliseum one I thought works really well. I, I, I want to see it real mm. time. I like it overhead. And then when he gets in the battle, or if he's in the grass, and then he goes, it's it zo- does a zoom. So you kind of want a... what they were starting to kind of do in black and white. A little bit, easy. kind of, but I want it to be. A I don't know. Time. Me, well, I, you can I have selectable want, cameras I, I, for, I, for different different tastes. I don't know. Me, I would want a full on. You third see, you would person. want it, but admittedly, a lot of people would get bored of that and would like be like, "Fuck, hurry up!" You can have multiple cameras. You can have it classic Pokemon style, where it's back back. And maybe just the animation. I'm not, I'm not talking about in the battle. I'm talking about as far as the open world. Oh, yeah. I would want it a completely 3D. No, I'm saying third person camera. Yeah. No, he's, he's saying he wants it top down. I want it like a top down perspective. Uh huh. And then when it goes in the battle, it shifts. Like in real time. No. If, if I'm going to want it, I'm going to want it. I'd want a full on three well, third that's, person. That's, that's a minor thing for me. I don't like the idea of third person him running through the grass and then, and then to well, a no, it would it like would that. be low, it would be like up to the knee grass or low grass. I still, I still. Don't like that. Well, you can have a button set up so you can look over and see. Oh, uh, I need to go that way, you know, because over there is where I need to go, yeah, and then it comes back see, down. Because the thing is, it would be good in the third person view, is that you would see like shaking grass, so you'd know where to run. I think third person is. Uh, is Almost too much of a departure from what you would expect to see. But and that's from, that's from that's the, the thing. Stuff. That's if you want a full on adventure game. That's, that's so what speaking it means of all this, that. actually, there's a there's a really interesting, um, there's a really interesting MMO game uh, using the the Game Boy um, Advance sprites uh, that some guy made, where you can actively send out your Pokemon and you can have them battle on their own, or you can control each one. I'll show you guys the video after. That would be a pretty interesting idea, too. I think, I think, um, I think we're dragging it down here. Yeah. A bit. Um, I, I think we should, you know, call it. I don't think there's that much more we can really talk about. Nope, nope, nope. We're um, going into Thesis, yes. 27 years old, and I'm arguing about a 3D Pokemon game. <laughs> if that's how you know Nintendo did a good job with that. It, well, they had back then, they did. Yeah. Um... All right, well, that's it for now. Uh, this is another episode of the Basically Bullshit Show, episode... Nine, yes, nine. Maybe. And uh, it's Sunday, but this will be up probably on Monday. And uh, yeah, so look for us in another two weeks. And uh, please subscribe and let us know what you think. Thank you.